welcome welcome everyone austerist here so today we are gonna be checking out a black book the game was uh, quite along with my wish list and uh, finally time to uh, get uh, get through it apparently it's a deck builder game uh, so we're gonna be jumping onto nightmare difficulty and you know how hard nightmare difficulty is i don't have any baseline this will be my first uh jump into the game uh, i'm not a stranger to card games uh, but i haven't been playing any card games in maybe three years three years so we, we uh back in the days i played the hearthstone uh more or less semi-professionally back in the days i played slays the spire quite a lot ascension level 20 uh, we've done it all we've been there we've seen stuff we uh we kill hard on ascension level 20 how hard this uh nightmare difficulty will be here just need to jump and see so there there is um wait like why, why is it not showing me the shit huh it's just it's just all over the place okay let's let, let me not launch the game interesting <laughs> if you start in the game it's, it was a bug uh okay okay let's me just relaunch the game we're playing it on epic store by the way I, as previously uh we played the um, uh metro 20 uh city 3 red axe That I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll with a writing on uh, both sides and sealed with the seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scrolls? But no one in the heaven, on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside it. Book of Revelation. So okay, we jump in a new nightmare difficulty, apprentice difficulty. So Znatka, uh, normal difficulties, balance for the first place through. Kaldunia, on the other hand, enemy damage is uh, 25%, enemy health plus 10%. Uh, but we get a uh, rub rubles reward 10% increase. And there's nightmare, which is gonna be jumping. Evil spirits roam unchecked on this difficult level. So enemy damage is plus 66%. This sounds pretty uh, pretty big booster, right? In, in terms of damage at least. Um, beneficial enemy status have 10% chance of not disappearing after their duration expired. Rebels in battle reward is increased by 20%. All evil spirits play Durak more uh, skillful. Uh, plus 4 ch uh, changes of regular cards to the Trump one. And we have additional status ethics. Okay. Once upon a time, evil spirits dwelled here in these parts, and in a sense, they still do. I will tell you a story. It happened long ago, even before the revolution. It happened here, not far from Cherdin. I heard my grandmother tell it. A man was fostering an orphan girl. He was a Noah. Everyone called him Old Yegor. She didn't want to become a witch, but he taught her his craft. She was to be married to a special young man. I can't recall what exactly happened, but this young man took his own life. He was later buried beyond the gates of the churchyard. Which meant that he would pass straight to hell. As for the orphan, Vasilisa, she refused to accept it. She was intent on bringing back his soul from the inferno. To do this, she would need to break the seven seals of the Black Book, which old Igor kept, and retrieve him. And it was for that reason that Vasilisa agreed to become a witch. But to become one, she needed to be initiated in a banya or at a crossroads. And so, Vasilisa set out for the crossroads. Why not initiated the Banya? 
It's like what sauna. Sheldon, yes, sperm. Wait, is this a Russian game? Nani? I slept poorly last night. Been waiting, hoping for you to return. But you haven't. You never sat at the table. Where are you now, sweetheart? Where you had it? In relatives. And from the warm summer, you departed. There's no entrance or exit for you, it seems. The cold mother earth. There isn't even a church you had fans to hold on to. Enough. I don't believe you would do this to yourself. It'll all be well. All will be well. I'll accept this knowledge from Grandpa, though I know what you thought of that. But there's no other choice. I'll drag you from that robe myself. Sleep for now. Sleep. I won't be long. Yeah, there's no uh, getting, getting people from candles, grave. Uh, okay, so what do I want to? I'm actually gonna uh, go and do something about uh, volume settings. So we want a voice a little bit higher. How about that? They didn't bury him in the holy ground. The crossroads scandals. Uh, road to the crossroads. Trinket. So what about okay? We just can uh, get the candles. There's something I need up to there. Go to the crossroads. The pine needles are golden with the sun already. But it says there's some trinkets. The trees are whispering. The wind is cold. The sun is setting. Old Igor must be wondering where I am by now. I need to go to the crossroads. Okay, but what about the trinket, the dude? Sun already. So we can uh, so we can grab it. But we can do we can herb. Adam's her uh, head. Adam's head heal minor wounds. Aceful sins on any journey. Replenish five hit points. Okay. So how how, how do we get back? Oh, so we, we totally can uh, we totally can uh, control her with with I see. With WSD. To the crossroads. So can I go to to left field? Spring is so hot this year. There we go. Learning the controls. Prologue. Initiation of uh, the Caldoon. It's like a wizard. The darkness of the night is filled with anticipation. You're at Mikhail's crossroads, along with old Yegor. You know the ritual that has to be done, but you've never thought of what might happen once it's complete. However, the time to draw the circle has come. Look around. Mile post. Cherding, 16 miles, Selikamsk, 102 miles, Nirop, 21 miles. Don't care. There's some, someone, someone eyes watching. Ritual candles. Okay, okay, I salute. Absolutely, yes. So, do we have anything else here? More loot? Some ritual candles. Candles. Old and enchanted candles from all the your hand. 
which uh, with their help you can uh, drop a circle that can affect uh, offer protection against evil spirits. Supply is three uh, on the f protection of whatever it is. Shield on the first turn. The crosses look old. It seems people were buried here quite some time ago. Okay. Took us a guy. So, have you found the candles? Well done, all by yourself at that. Seems my teachings were not lost on you after all. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm just went to look everything that possibly could be. Now let's draw a circle. Be careful not to leave any gaps, otherwise we'll be crushed by evil spirits. Make a circle. Should be no problem. I've made a circle. Is it all right, Grandfather? The circle is drawn. No gaps, good. Too late to dither now. You think that I can help him? Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. Well, go on. It's time for you to take my knowledge. Such a long time we've spent together. Parting with it is bittersweet. Well, take it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Would you look at that? What power emanates from the book? The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Now speak the words I taught you. Read the spell. I'm scared. <laughs> Read the spell. I'll get up without crossing myself, but I will go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I'll draw a circle and step into it. And I shall speak. Good merchants, come and buy my cat. Nani? For this cat, give me neither inconvertible ruble nor a fine hat. I'm not selling any cats, what the hell? But bestow me with knowledge of the dark and eyes with vision sharp. So as I have said, so it will be. My words are stone. Here are your merchants. Now listen carefully if you value your life. What the hell? I'm selling the cats? Did this game see will? Just like went and sold the cat. This is like inhuman uh, evil. How dare she uh, she sell her overlord? To become a witch. You have to defeat this demon. Time for your first Sagavar. Welcome to your first battle. Each battle consists of turns. You and your enemies take turns, but you always again to go first. You win when you destroy all enemies before you are reducing their health to zero. This is a black book. It contains all of your uh, Zagavars. Attack. Urazi, Urazi, choose the target. Tarzan page, Urazi. Okay, activate the page and press the end the turn button to receive his agar. Health, uh, the death is behind the zero health threshold. So she has certain health. His attack is is two. The pages you had uh, a previous turn have changed. The book alters the page each turn. I would lie. Shoot the target myself. Defense shields uh, shields you from damage, but disappears on your next turn. Receive the page out alive, which has uh, the defense, the blue shit, which just already did it. Such enchanted words protect from demons, but this protection fades quickly. 
Now draw up a complete Zagavar. You may combine the several pages into the Zagavar. Like Rabba Rabba of the lie. Okay. So how do you combine this? Like uh we do one one here and uh one attacking. Oh okay, I see, I see, I see. So uh complete Zagor. Zagor consists of orders and keys. Alright, you can uh, currently receive Zagor consistent of two orders and one key. Okay, so look, uh, let's remove the order. So two orders. Two orders and one key. That's enough, his, uh, his damage is too. Great. Good job, Vasha. This demon is nearly beaten. But he's still beaten me? I saw he got in a shield there. A couple more spells to read the world of it. Wait, what? Why, why, why I didn't like, take damage? Let's say bless. Oh, this is not a shield, it's a bless. Increase uh, damage of each page for two. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, Ra no, Ra Raba should have given me a shield. Ruda, two. Base, it deals with damage each turn, ignorant shield. There we go. So are we selling the cat or not after this? Take that, you monkey hellhound! Well, now, Vasha, answer this more. You'll be a witch as soon as you return. Well, safe travels. Gates of Hell. How to become a witch? Black Rift. It's only one thing that there is. Oh, is that you, Vasilisa? I should congratulate you, for the first seal is open. Only six remain. Oh. But will you be able to open the rest? Satan. This is another matter entirely. The wish, the seals, leave. <laughs> Who the hell are you? What sort of devil are you? How rude, Vasilisa. I'm your chief advisor. It is I who grants you the powers of a Kaldun. We will become better acquainted in time, I presume. Yeah, all those like witches, devil worshippers. So tell me about the wish. I'm curious. Can the Black Book grant any wish? Indeed. As legend dictates, who knows? Perhaps you shall meet your beloved soon. In hell and join him there. Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? No one in heaven, on earth, or beneath it has ever been able to open the scroll or look upon it. 
yet. Tell me about the seals. How do I open the seals? Oh, can't figure it out by yourself, girl. I'm disappointed in you. I've just leave you. Goodbye. Let me return to the land of the living. No chest yet. Have you forgotten your purpose? I name you a witch. How many demons will you take on for your service? As many as possible. <laughs> One. Give me all of them. Well, I will certainly need the help of demons. So give me as many as possible. Ah, that's the spirit. What? <laughs> you just committed your first sin? They say that the fate of the cold dune and a witch is to burn in eternal flames with no chances for absolution? <laughs> but I mean, taking, taking uh, one or, or many, like... Fuck. The outcome of some events uh, of the game uh, is here uh, to decide. Your sins counter will change according to your decisions. Your number of sins affects your choices uh, of replies as well as possible game endings. They say each person has an angel uh, on the right shoulder and a devil on the left, but to whom you turn your ears is entirely open to you. <laughs> Does it even matter how many demons we take and will, will this actually make me stronger? But you are still too weak. Soon you will have three charts at your command. That's enough for now. Charts, chart, chart is like a little devil. You know, like... Like a goat, a devil. Now go. Perhaps we'll meet again, if you manage to open the seals. The sun rose while you were coming to. Had to drag you home. I understand it's not easy to pass through the devil's domain. She's like spacing out on him. So, you've seen it? A space cadet. Huh? Are we home? Seems like it was all a dream. The devil made me a witch. Well, then it is a good day. Uh, what did I tell you? You should have become a witch a long time ago. New, uh, new Balich, uh, Balichka. Well, what's done is done. The legend says that your wish is behind the seven seals. I could never open the first one. Here's the second seal. The Aspen one. How do I open it? Maybe it was the demon at the crossroads that opened the first. Perhaps. I think that demons do play a part, but what spirit is the Aspen one? Hmm, I'll have to rack my brain a bit. Maybe there's something in the books? You yourself are a witch now. I knew that you would not let me down. The news of your enlightenment has spread already. Must be the Susetkis who told the heads of the families. Susetkos? So sad keys. I mean, it's basically neighbors, right? Like I don't know why they why they saying like you know, na na neighbor, na neighbor's wife watch. Now people will come to you for advice. I am old now. Not many teeth left. My Kuldun powers are waning. Now it is you who will help the people around here. Perhaps you will even find the right demon for your problem. Well, 
While you were coming to your senses, I've already spoken to most of the visitors. There's only one left. He's waiting behind the door. Look around for a start. Your book is over there, on the table. Do you remember how I taught you bookbinding? Afterwards, see to that visitor of yours. Some evil spirit has been giving him trouble. Got it? Yes, let's get to work, uh, the devil. Have you yourself met this devil? I was initiated as a Kuldun once. I saw this devil who gave me my charts. I couldn't even lift the first seal. And you, who all you needed was one touch, and it's gone already. It seems there is great power within you. Got it? But it's the great power comes comes to great responsibility, is it? I got it, Grandpa. Time to get to look for the spirits around the district. Maybe we'll get lucky with the seals. We should not tarry. Who knows? Perhaps after 40 days have passed, we won't be able to help. God bless. For the damn surpassal uh, visitors. So uh, the peasants seek your advice and you help. You cannot continue onward until you uh, hear them out. Black book and all the gear. So, uh, why so, Vasya, have you taken well to learning the mystical arts? Are you curious enough to learn some more? About, about all the gear? So, how did you become a Khaldun, Grandfather? I was born in Vilgert, the sixth son of my father, Yevlan Pichurov. It was a big family, not the richest, though. When you have so many mouths to feed, it's hard to save money. But we lived well as a family. The house must have been built well. That is to say, I realize this now. Then one year, a seventh brother was born. Timofey, he was called. He was a good lad. He grew up, but I didn't look after him well enough. Heavy is this sin of mine. I still feel guilty. Vasya, having chorts is a trivial thing. You would do better to protect the ones closest to you, to fight for them. It's knowledge that gives us strength, for we harness their own power against them, with the chorts under our control. One day I was looking after Timothy. We were playing with the other children, but I lost my patience with a boy. I cursed him severely, sent him to the Leshi. Okay, like uh, that's uh, the wood spirit, or if I understand correctly. So the Leshi a water spirit. him away. A water spirit? We never found Timoshka. He'd vanished. Oh, it's hard to bear these scenes, Vasya. So hard. Oh, so I decided to become a Kaldun. I wouldn't let the Dark Ones harm my family ever again. Or so I thought. Well, I'll tell the story of how I became a Kaldun later. Ask me tomorrow. It's hard to remember all these things of the past. You'll understand when you... It's like so old, like probably 40 years or something. Isba. How is our Isba built? It was built long ago. Like a house. Lots of people have lived here since. More than half a century yeah, ago, encyclopedia. Since, All according to old rituals. You know them by now. But uh, I don't remember who built it. Uh, my grandfather, I suppose. Evil spirits. How can I recognize evil spirits? How can I know when they're before me? Simple. You've been to the world of the devil, and now you'll see everything for what it is. The only thing is, the darkness will see you too. Demons and spirits will track you down, and as soon as you glance into the darkness, you'll feel their rise upon you as well. Be strong. Such is our fate. You make your own way. Okay. No. So the black book, um, on this screen you can uh, change the page's composition of the black book. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, the right side you can see the current page composition on the black book. Uh, the left side are pages available to you but uh, not in the current black book composition. On the left side, like, like this one. 
You can categorize pages with a special filters. You might receive pages that are currently unavailable as a battle or task rewards. You can uh, alter the page composition uh, of the book to craft new pages. Uh, you need uh, rubles. The black book volume has uh, to stay within uh, the limits of the maximum and minimum number of pages. All right. You may also save three different sets of pages and change them as needed. So maximum and minimum setting. In time you will uncover the even more uh, black book pages which are sealed away at the present. You can change the composition of the uh, black book at any time, except during combat. So this is uh, what we have here. And this is what we uh, are looking for. One uh, of our hail. Blessing 2. What's the blessing? Increase uh, damage of each page bent 2. Uh, okay. For uh, for how long turns? Is it... Uh, do I understand correctly each turn? Okay, let's... So this is what, what, what we're crafting here. Well, worst. The page I can amplify by one uh, for every other page of the same uh, color in... Uh, Zagabur. So like plus one a five uh, for every like uh, black thing. Ruda is okay. So. Oh, we just put in them uh, them off. <laughs> Fuck. How do I get back? Nani. Okay, prob I can exit because uh, it's below below minimum, right? So seal opened. I just put okay, okay. I see, I see. It's just seen over here. Oh, what a what day! Welcome, welcome, Christopher. Welcome back. Greetings. So it's basically uh, we started here with the deck building. Uh, so you always want to minimize the amount of card, right? To, to draw like uh, the constant combination, right? The, the, the less card, the better. That's uh, the lesson we can learn a lot with um, um, Slay the Spire. Mm -hmm. Game of Later to Complex for me? No, it's fine. It's, a, it's the hardest difficulty, so... So waste deals for damage each uh, turn, ignoring uh, the armor. So like we put in uh, this one to get minimum sync, and the bless increases the damage of each page per two. All right, so it's saying two shield, right? Is it giving me like two shields? Uh, that's the question. Items. Uh, so this one wasted, waste three deals for damage each turn. Okay, uh, five shield. All right, and this is uh, three cars, cars are dealing damage. So then, then we have well worse at one hit points. Ruda, two damage, and uh, Raba, three shield. But we we used the shield in a previous fight and it didn't work. So I I don't know I don't know like what what it is, this thing. So also there's a color here. Color to to be a uh... right like if you go in like uh, it was a killer for example, well versed so we have like more black colors. We'll have more uh, more damage scenes. I have like I I seen it once already. There is a map here. Okay. But there's like a, a written old Slavic language. I had the, my grandma had the Bible in old Slavic language. Well, it's, it's at least close to to. Actually, may, maybe it's not old Slavic. It's too close to items. So five items candles, and old enchantment candles. Uh, so giving me a three shield in the first turn. Uh, that's pretty good. And we have uh, the, the health to replenish. 
So where this onomasticon called initiation. He climbed down to the hearse, of course. What could you have done as soon as he entered the mall? He saw fidgetly a little people sitting behind a set tables. I want one small chort with which I can curse my neighbors. The imps replies a matter of fact. We come in no fairer than three. The men walk in the banya with three chorts. Chorts like basically imp. Okay, father, give us work. We want to eat. He gave them a cat to curse and some other small tasks. More and more chorts appeared. He tried to keep up with the, the demands of the chorts, but he soon grew exhausted in the mind and body. In the end, the chorts took uh, to entertain themselves with the villagers until all of the inhabitants were cursed. Isba. The mill that stood still. Oh, okay. A man from Vyatka once lived in our village. He would tell us a story once in the world a miller that has to make offerings to a sh Shishiga or else she would prevent the mill, uh, mill's mechanism from turning. As an offering, he gave part of his store uh, of flour, grain and breadcrumbs. On one occasion, he f uh, forgot and offered nothing. Sure enough, the windmill grounded to a halt. Then the men went to investigate inside the mill. There was uh, the Shishiga sitting on the grinder, threatening him with her finger outstretched. She suddenly vanished. The miller gathered some tobacco and threw it at the shadows uh, in the corner of the mill at midnight. The windmill started to turn again, and the Shishiga stopped cursing mischiefs. Uh, okay, I see called Dune initiation. It's easy to become a cold Dune. Becoming one is a terrifying experience. People tell a lot of stories. One in particular comes to mind. A man decided to punish his neighborhood for changing the boundary of his field uh, to neighboring one. He went to a cold Dune and asked, Give me a short with the wish to curse my neighbor. The cold Dune replied, It is not as simple as that. All right. He went to Kuldun, uh, the Kuldun replied, uh, Do as I say and you will have your chart. He then told him that they would need to go to the Banya at midnight. So Banya is a uh, sauna. It's a sauna. So the man gathered his courage and took along his rifle and his cross. Oh, it's scary at the Banya. He loaded his gun with his cross and shot at the hearse. A fairly, fairly dog emerged and opened its maw. The only option was to climb inside, and even through his instincts told him too. He stopped himself from making the sign of the cross. He recalled at the last moment that if he did so, he would lose his hand. Alright, so we already read the, the, uh, the last part. So let's see, can we even save in this game? Save the game we do. There we go. So there's the visitors. Bring them on. Oh, God bless Yegor Yevlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. Kaldun, we are entering a... Uh... Who, who's... Zimiche, uh, Zimiche territory, Nani? Yeah, Kaldun is like uh, the evil wizard. Uh, he, he witch. Uh, the Witcher. <coughs> the Witcher, okay. It's probably proper. Good bless. Uh, Igor, okay. God right. bless. I come bearing gifts. Some flour for your household. Please, hear me out. I won't waste your time. I'll tell you straight away. Welcome, welcome, and tomorrow, best way. Good news. Something terrible is happening at the mill. We were working in the night, when suddenly we heard some strange sounds. When did you get this game? Can I remember it's been uh, mentioned uh, way back? Uh, I have it like way back on my Epic account. <laughs> yeah. Then a shadow began to darken in one of the corners. Such a deep, 
blackness. We ran for our lives. You are known for your knowledge in these matters. What should I do now? During the night shift at the windmill, he heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shift in shadows. What could be behind such emanations? Peasants, spirits uh, and fiends will all seek your advice and help in affairs of witchery. After all, you are a knower. Like, you know, a knower, I mean, like, knowledge to one. If you answer uh, a knowledgeably a question correctly, you will receive an experience reward. Sometimes your answer will influence in game events. To recognize the correct answer, you will have to carefully study your uh, surroundings uh, and the onomasticon, onomasticon, which you can open at any moment from a menu. You can also receive hints by pressing your uh, knowledge button, however you will uh, get only half the experience. Choose to correct, uh, okay, choose the correct answer to get 50, press the button to use uh, your knowledge and get a hint, but you will get 25. So during the night shift at the windmill, we heard uh, some strange sounds and saw some strange shifting shadows. What could be behind this, I mean, uh, so we just, we just read like uh, this. Necromantic on sync, all right. Called an initiation. The meal is stood still, all right. There's uh, something about this uh, shishiga, or whatever it's called. But she prevented mechanisms from turning around. The miller gathers some tobacco and street in the shadows in the corner of the mill at midnight. Okay, so... When a man went to investigate and said the mill, there was a shishiga sitting... This, uh, so there were just some shadows. So she, she produces some shadows in the, uh, in, at the midnight. So this could be demons. Could be not normal bandits too. Okay, it's a demons. Why do you work at night? Fifty percent. Demons are at work. Jesus Christ. Well, how do you think the millstones turn? Not by the wind alone, obviously. Uh, yeah, how the millstone turn, but <laughs> science, who hell the science, the demons work. <laughs> it's a demon's work. It's forbidden to work a windmill after nightfall. But what do we do now? I did everything right when I built it. Please, help me. I have this old item that you might find useful. You'd better cough it up if we help you. All right, Vasha. Look into what's going on with that place. The demon there may be of use to us, you know? I'll find out what's going on with you, Chort. Oh, thank you. I was told you wouldn't let me down. Uh, goodbye for now. He's not your average Miller. Usually they consort with a leshy, but this miller has some short. Well, I'll study these seals while you're off dealing with the mill. And to make your trip a bit easier, take this herb. It is called an Adam's Head. It will heal you up if anything goes sideways. Okay. Time for you to be on your way. Evil spirits won't quell themselves. Well, you get all that? Wanna ask anything else? We all uh, windmill Adam's head. Where do I find this windmill? Don't you remember the one to the north of Vilgor? North, okay. The devil haunts that place at night, people say. Go there and be back home by sunrise. We have much to do. What about Adam's head? How do I use the herbs anyway? Well, it's quite simple. Use them in battle to close up your wounds. Got it, Grandfather. Ah, wait. One more thing. I've sent the chork to Kushova village. He must have cursed someone. Go there and fix it. You'll earn some money in process. Well, he sent the chork to curse, curse the people and then lifted the curse and earned the money in process. They evil. All right, Grandpa. So we are now on your travel map. Every night it will display different locations. You may go uh, on your way only after you speak to all of your visitors. 
You can visit any uh, available location, however, you have to cover it only after uh, you accomplish your task and return to the east bar. Your goal is visiting your main task location. So, however, you can reach it without uh, you can't reach it without visiting all of other locations. The game auto saves each time the location changes. You can uh, also save your progress manually. In which case, the game will uh, save as soon as you enter the new location. You can open the map by clicking uh, on your present location. We wish you the best of luck exploring the northern lands of the Chardin Uyest. Believe uh, believes demons run windmill, forgot modern medicine for garden herbs. She's been climbing uh, the earth is flat. <laughs> She's a beach, dude. No no wonder they were burning on the stakes. Chris Grizzus Master Holes, sub nerds, welcome. So main task, deal with the melee chart. Optional, visit a uh, Kushera village. Is this the Kushera village? Let's look at it is. Kushera village, a small village to the west of Kol uh, Kolwa, I've been there a couple of times with the old Igor. When healing some cows, this is the place to send the chort on the job. So values, uh, best Belich Belika something, and three en encyclopedia entries. Magilevsky mansion, uh, what about this one? Okay, optional task. Well, we're gonna go. We're gonna go here first, right? Or worse, she's believing in astrology. Regardless, there's a lot of uh, red flags. <laughs> well, they also apparently Russians. All of them. All of all the fucking. I saw. I saw. The, I know the game was about Slavic mythology, but I saw it was. Uh, it would be like somewhere in. Uh, uh, Romania or something, you know. May maybe a little farther, Balkans, but it is Russia. For fuck's sake. Okay, set off to to the side quest. Let's see how hard this hard difficulty is. You stealthily creep by the village houses. At least you thought you were being stealthy. You hear a familiar voice calling out from one of the windows overhanging the street. Swasha, wait! I have business with you. Peasant? I don't have any business with peasants. Hush! But better whisper. I've got this neighbor and I hate her guts. So curse her a bit, will you? Here's a killer curse or something. Not a strong one. I've got a gift ready for you. Curse the peasant instead? Decline? I mean, I'm a witch. Like, this is my job to curse people, yeah? Very well. I'll do it. Just well up by tomorrow, you'll see. You read a simple curse and take your well-earned reward. Five rubles? <laughs> Given that the majority of human cancer is dumb, uneducated and prone to all kinds of insane uh, conspiracy theories, including people claiming to have been granted authority by some divine beings to found and uh, maintain religions. She's pretty harmless. I mean, we just, we just, dude, like, we, we talk with the chore, with, with the devil. We talk with the bloody devil. I don't, don't think she, she's harmless. She just, she just cursed, cursed the people here. Already. You notice a noisy family gathering in front of one of the houses. It's unusual to see an entire family out on the street at this hour. Strange, muffled sounds are coming from inside their house. Falling cutlery, furniture, moving around. Good evening to you, Vasilisa. God himself has sent you to us tonight. No, like, I'm, I'm serving the devil. Everything has been turned upside down in our house. The enemy of man is haunting our house. The devil himself is here. Everyone is scared senseless. How did it manage to get in here? It's no simple matter for a chort to get inside a human dwelling. What did you do yesterday? We just had some tea. Natalia likes it a lot. She's quite fond of tea. Then we prayed and went to sleep. And in the middle of the night, it all started. 
the encyclopedia entry. Okay, ritual uh, behavior. Ritual or a behavior reinforced by customs is inseparable from a mythology. It is often believed that a specific events are a consequences of another. For instance, a person suffered a misfortune after forgetting to cross himself is uh, perceived as being punished for not observing a ritual. This has uh, resulted in all sorts of popular beliefs. Dishes not locked away at night or crossed it became a refuge for evil spirits. A sick child or a changeling needs to be thrown across the threshold of a house inhabited by spirits who were lured uh, there by the killing of a rooster during its uh, construction. After some time, the underlying reason for a ritual becomes forgotten, leaving behind only the ritual itself. Wait, a sick child or a changeling needs to be thrown across the threshold of the house? Like, Nani? Throw, throw across the sh the house? Inhabited by the spirits who were lured there by killing a rooster during the construction? So we need to like, kill the rooster, build the house, take the kid, throw it uh, around through the threshold of the house, and... You good? Vasilisa, wasn't she the one who uh, got the better of Baba Yaga and escaped her? Who else is uh, in this game? Koshe, uh, Besmertny, the Deathless? Uh, well, it's uh, the popular name, mate. Yeah, it's... I wouldn't, I wouldn't look into, like, actually fairy tale names. It's a Russian name. Crossroads. Are the one of the key points of travel between the worlds. Okay. So they prayed and went to sleep, and in the middle of the night, Tea it's... time turned into a short invasion. I wonder why these demons appeared in the first place. Forgot to cross tableware. Forgot to close the windows. Dude, forgot to cross the tableware. And did you make the sign of the cross over the samovar? You know, samovar. The you know, it's the samovar, is it? That must be it. We didn't mark the samovar with a cross. You must do this. And please remember next time. You are such a great knower, Vasya. Please, won't you help us? Don't leave us this way. This English translation is like a little bit lacking. I will help you. Oh, very well. I will help okay, you. Okay, our first real it's battle. No good sleeping on the street, Let's see how this deck will hold it. Or is this the correct cross? So <laughs> there's like some hundred percent different ones. Thank you, Vasilisa. Have some milk for you, Johnny. You come inside the Izba. Everything is in complete disarray. The Chorts have certainly had their way here. You make the sign of the cross and take a couple of careful steps deeper inside. Battle, a pro explorer. The demons have made a mess. They threw the dishes and cooking pots around, but luckily, the brass utensils seem to be intact. The most damaged part is the shrine in the corner. The icon cases are damaged, and the candles are broken. Okay, encyclopedia entry. So, uh... Save? It's fine, but uh, how do we get uh, my encyclopedia? Red corner. The red corner is one of the most important and uh, mystical places in the Izba. It's similar to, uh, in importance to the Hearse, since it plays a central role in the home. It is most commonly uh, in the right-hand corner of an Izba across uh, from a door. Um, even in some Northern Russian tradition where a porch is uh, situated in the unusual manner. Most likely as uh, ancestor candles were once placed atop the shrines. Following the arrival of Christianity, it became home to the icons of the uh, saints. The other names for the red corners uh, Boj Bojnica, which means a ghost place, and it's always housed a small icon lamp. My grandma ha had it, like... My grandma ha had, had, had like uh, the corner like that. 
and yeah, it's this was a right a right hand uh, towards the across the door with uh, this like icon lamp, uh huh. When do we uh, do we get to the good part of the game? You know, summoning your demon army, casting a uh, pestilence across the land, and begging your uh, conquest at the witch quest. <laughs> Beginning. I soon can speak a uh, Klatu Verta Nektu. Damn it, it's not supposed to speak it, Memento Mori. What the hell? The head of the family sat in the corner and uh, our so called day feast. Additionally, before the funeral, the deceased body of the family uh, head was placed on the table with his head be uh, below the red corner. When entering in this by, visitor would make the sign of the cross over himself by looking at the red corner, uh, even in the there is no icon present. Yeah, when uh, when my grand grandfather died, uh, I remember he was he was like placed it head heads to the, to the icon in a room to get through the night mm -hmm. I was uh, like what seven eight at that point having dinner with the corpses on the table uh, that uh, have some style okay As you approach the overturned samovar suddenly it shakes and starts to move and red eyes light up the darkened room a demon is here some of our short wait like so this guy have five defense uh, they don't say anything about the positioning of those guys huh let's have have five, 10 damage oh my god dude really 10 damage I have 16 health we fucked <laughs> I think you're not ready for this at all I mean, you should kill the guy, uh, guy, guy that giving the shield, right? So if you're casting the shield on this guy, this guy's just doing 10 damage. So if we, if we can uh, cast uh, this one, it says three defense, but uh, it doesn't put in me like where. Waste. So, uh, getting like a defense is saying all together. Okay, he's killing me for ten, however. So it's uh same dealing damage uh, every turn here. You just added a page that uh, contains the status effects on your uh, Vagarer. You mean this one? Status effects usually reduce uh, the value each turn. Uh, okay, okay. Carefully choose the right moment and uh, the right place in the Vagarer for pages with status effects. Okay, so uh, I guess m maybe it's not really uh, the best one. Maybe we just uh, hidden him first. And then we uh, hidden him as a waste. But, um. Okay, okay. So hit him here for for uh, for four. Not quite like uh, the annual bones cleaning of the uh, cemeteries. The consumption of the ashes with the banana paste of the uh, periodical closest change that they do in some region of the world, but still kind of uh, macabre. I'm not sure about that. Consumption of the uh, ashes with the banana. Yeah, we have a tradition to go on the cemetery like every year and to have a dinner, you know, like Remembrance Day, days it's called. 
So look, uh, what I want to look in here is uh, have a chance to. I, I know that I can't have a chance to get any shields. Like we just. Oh well, whatever. You know what? We're just learning, right? Let's say it's learning experience. We're just hitting him with uh, with with attack here. With eight health. He's going on twelve. Okay, eleven. Wait, what, eleven. Why we eleven? Oh, because he has three three shield to begin with. Mm -hmm. He's doing seven next turn. We're drawing like five, uh, six cards apparently. Every turn. All right. So if you're drawing six cards, oh, are we? Oh no, we're not drawing the six cards. Th those cards are were, were left over here. So we still want to want this uh, Araba. And myself, obviously. And uh, got myself a full shield too. But it's just like uh, trying to waste this guy. He's gonna deal the damage to the shield. No, like, okay, okay, eight, I see. Nine. Okay, so uh, he has wasted. So like every time, uh, deal two damage and one damage. Igla, well worst. So we can still put some wasted on him. All right. Blast to increase damage of each page by by two. And it's giving me like shield as well. Damage of each page, so I can deal like six damage to here. Oh, the problem is, yeah, the problem is I can use this one if I want to to apply the shield. So we're applying the shield because it's a scroll, all right? I only can use the key as a damage over here. I'm probably just uh, attacking this short over here. Guess we should attack him. I saw, I saw the shield gonna be stuck in. It doesn't look like the shield is stuck in here. So we uh, we good. For damage. It's seven health. Well, we're okay with the shields. So we still have this uh, this one. Rabba. He's doing five damage now. No, anyway, five. Well, Araba gonna be uh, going over here. Bless also gonna apparently go into over here. Just damage uh, for every page. And it's just a like, killing him, like. Killing this guy, so he's not, not applying any shields anymore. Now that we know the shield is not stuck in, now we just like uh, should we just kill this guy all together? So he's doing ten damage next. We we pr pretty good. Like I don't know, it's 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 a setup a setup like encounter here. <laughs> he's doing ten damage and we just draw like uh, ten shield all together. So blessing uh Oh so bless blessing just stuck in here like that, huh? Interesting. Let's do two. So he's six and we have the blessing shit. We don't need to do like anything, uh, anything else. Just kill him. Okay, choose a new page. Any new page are automatically added to the black book. Uh, once and forever, firm. 
The page remains active for one turn and aff uh, affects other pages. Uh, like a worst, uh, like a worst. So basically, I get in like additional uh, shield every turn. Two shields on the first turn, and one shield on the next turn. Well, worst. The page remains active. The page effects amplified for, uh, by one for every other page of same color in Zagavar. So, like, if I had ten, yeah, Babushka Mandali Mandalina, increase the number of orders in the books in, in the next uh, round by one, and giving me like one health too. That's looking interesting. It's looking interesting, let's take it. 125 experience. So what are we doing with this experience? The elders of the family bow to you and thank you for helping them. They also give thanks to God for bringing you here. The girl, Axenia, assures you that from now on every jar in the house will be crossed. The location. So can can we just go back to the old uh river bed like over there? Let's see what we have here. Called initiation. So my black book. Uh we have fourteen fourteen uh cards here. Savan so Babushka. Alright. So we're dropping like six cards per turn, is it? How is that three? Just six of heaven. Don't have mu much of that uh, key cards too. Like this, this is a lot of mass in the world over here. You don't really want to overextend your uh, capacity. The less card, the better. But you need like the right cards for the job. The silver glow of the moon catches glimpses of the foul water. The chilled northern night air is split by dull croaks coming from the swamp. Draw the circle. <laughs> you quickly draw a circle on the soft swamp soil and light the candles. A moment passes, then another. Finally, a demon appears and lunges at your defensive circle. I mean, like, yeah, obviously, like, you see, like, the frog croaking, uh, draw the circle, a circus, whatever, circus time, short. So, yeah, like, six cards, like, same as, same as the six cards over here. Um, he says 23 health, so, like, five, uh, And five damage, and then increase uh, bless, increase damage for each page for uh, for two. For two turns, right? So one damage. This would be enough for a shield. The thing is, we don't really have like actual actual shield here, actual damage. So we can uh, waste him, but we didn't draw the damage cards. So that that that's like important, right? And we draw all the shield cards, so uh, that, that's kind of fucked up. All right. I wish they can show me like uh, what kind of uh, cards we left in the deck here before we shuffle in the back. Accept, 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 chart. We're still keeping the shield. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot that we're still keeping the, the, the cards that we didn't use, huh? So, like, we didn't use this one. He's attacking for five. So, this one is just uh, enough to, to to do the shit here. 
and we're just uh, attacking him normally over here. So we're keeping the, uh, all of this, right? We yet to know how, how this work. So we have uh, four, four of those cards left. Let's see. Let's see if this if this if that's the case. And we're drawing only two cards after this, is it? If you keep in this two, this four. Okay, so uh, one, two, uh, three, four. So we draw, we draw the defense here, and we draw the, uh, this one over here. Yeah, so you you, you would you would think that to dispose of the bad cards because you want to draw more cards so you only can hold six cards basically that's the rules and uh, they're not discarded like in uh, it will be in in um, hearthstone or in uh, oh my god R rather say not in hearthstone but uh, slay the spire more in Oh, we're definitely attacking him here. So he's doing the 7 damage, so I do need to prepare for... Maybe instead of attacking him... Maybe we just uh, use this one, Babushka. Let's see how this works. Orders in the book in the next round by uh, 1. So no, not attacking him. We, we have attack card over there. Five and doing three over here. It's enough to to block so far. All right, so he draw he draw one one more card here. Draw this one back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. Every flash of the same color in Zag as Zagavar. And we have like uh we, we draw three, basically we draw three additional cards. So this is pretty good for drawing the the shit. So we have twelve damage. Alright, if we can deal eight over here and plus two over here. So it's ten. It's not not enough to kill him. Alright. So we need to block, uh, pretty much. There was a bless, so there is a bless, but it's not gonna be working like right now. Mm -hmm. It's gonna hit him for uh, for three, right? For four, wait, four. Did I understand how the bless works, is it? Just for each page for one. Oh, it was for like a two. Okay, okay, never mind. Alright, alright, let's just see, never mind. Yeah, it's it's, it's increased damage by, by two here, so we're just finishing him with uh, attack. Okay, to totally nailing it. So any patient uh, automatically added to black book. Firm, well worst plus two. Okay, page remains active for one turn and affects other pages. Well worst, the page effect simplified by one for every other page of the same color in Zagavar. Alright, so two. And can uh, deal damage every time. So that we just throw in him uh, three black cards. All right, it's gonna do like four damage, and get four damage like next turn too. Firm, uh, the page remains active for three turns and affects the other pages. Lock.
Okay, so it's affect other pages. Firm, uh, that's interesting. That's interesting. We can like set the shield for five, like for, uh, like every every like, uh, you know, this is pretty good. Kila interesting also, because it can uh, grow like damage plus six. It's already in the book. It's already in the book and I never drove it. Let's try the firm. I think the firm is pretty good. Again, where where is this experience going? So we have the rebels. Have the rebels. Okay, fifteen cars, dude. Like uh, get grow, growing this. Kind of a lot, right? There's also need to be uh, some proportion of the damage. How much damage? I think we just need to remove like uh, one waste card out of here. Um, the waste, right? Scorch it. I just think I just remove it. Uh, do, do we just remove uh, this one, Ur Urazi, actually? It's... Maybe remove this one and give me uh, the base attack and keep the waste. Let's do this. So, like I said, I don't want to, see, to uh, overburden myself with... The boots, uh, additional location. Okay, let's check it out. There should be something there. Standing amidst the black wooden figures, you hear a rustle in the trees. You read the protective spells, but out comes a person, not a demon. An ancient woman dressed in old clothes. It would seem you have come across a beggar. Greet the banger. Oh, a witch, a witch. Ah, oh, yeah, a witch. How did you know? I can smell your kind from a mile away. You know, because she has a different uh, eyes, like uh, colors. That that's that's maybe why, why because she na she was named the witch. Can you spare a few coins? Alms for the poor. I don't need much to get by. A person is only as good as they are charitable. Give her uh, alms for Puri, like always, yeah. Here you are. Don't forget me in your prayers. Thank you. I'll pray for your lost soul. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. A healing herb. Okay, go to the herbs for her. For a for, for rest. So we're here. So why 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 is the red? The, can can we investigate the area? It doesn't look like the blight forest. I can actually craft the cards. You know, I actually can craft the cards that uh, to add to my to my deck here. Oh, well, maybe not, Ruda. When Kushiva appears to unlock a new knowledge. Never mind. Maybe I can't craft it uh, here. Okay, next location. Red Blight for Forest. Mm -hmm. Near the forest's edge, you see a white towel on an old stump. Someone has left a bottle of milk and some piragi. Near these gifts is a birch charter. Peasants from Bigichi village are asking the Leshi to take care of their cattle. Still the gifts. Tempo is a charter. <laughs> if he's still the, the gifts from a Leshi, he gonna go and come and fight him, right? Can we, can we even beat this, dude? 
Oh my god, can can we can we uh can we beat the Lashy? Be brave, oh serious. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Felix, welcome, mate. Greetings. Yeah, we started on, on a nightmare. Did you play the game, by the way? Uh, the Black Book? It's uh, very similar to uh, Slay's Spire in all together, but it's like story mode. Playing on the hardest difficulty. Definitely still in. You haven't. You take the gifts, but leave the charter. The Lieshi will probably help them anyway. Just not as much as he would have if you had not stolen the offerings. What, we're not fighting him? Plus three to karma? <laughs> I have seen... Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this witch... Is a sinner. I mean, that's how a witch is supposed to be. Like, we're playing While the traveling through the woods, you stumble upon a snake's nest. Baby snakes are still inside their eggs. Fortunately, the mother snake does not seem to be around. You make a small wall of stones around the nest and wait for the larger snake to come back. The mother snake soon returns. Seeing the barrier, she fruitlessly tries to get past, but soon leaves. Wait for the snake to return again? Some time passes, and the snake comes back with a bunch of grass in its mouth. The snake touches the grassy mass to the stone barrier, and the wall instantly collapses. The snake is reunited with its nest. You quickly grab the grass before the snake hides it. It smells of rust. The only noticeable thing about it is the cross shape made by four leaves. Fortune has smiled upon you. You have found a break herb, a bundle of aromatic weeds that opens locks and barriers. Nice, like snakes can open barriers with some weeds. Uh, okay. Take the herbs and you item. You take the herb and get ready to go on your way. So it's eliminate enemy shield. Uh, I see the break herbs once or twice. Uh, door I was locked by accident so uh, a nowhere came to help and opened it with the break herbs <laughs> put a leave on the lock yeah I don't know about that so so much of a mysticism and and you know the sink is the sink is it's it's kind of like how the people li live back back like 150 years or something, you know. I mean, I I, I see some some of uh, this mysticism, like I was talking about that red corner in a room. Like I saw it like personally in, in my grand grandparents' ha house. So on a hillside near Kacheva Lake, you see two silhouettes. One is combing the other's long hair. There is something strange Rosalke. in his uneven movements. Something that gives you shivers. With a prayer, come closer. Attack. So, uh, some kind of Rusalka, right? An egg. The black figures disappear as soon as you recite the name of God. Dude, I should have fought them, damn it. I should have fought those. Yeah, maybe this was the encyclopedia. Shit. Maybe we can get like an additional card from this from the fight. Shouldn't shouldn't skip the fight. Windmill arms creak in the distance, parting the pre dawn fog. The shadow of an owl passes overhead. It crosses your path, a bad omen since man's path and man's destiny are as one. Yet, could it be it was trying to point you somewhere? Protect you, uh, Zagavar, follow the owl. Suddenly, you come upon a swamp and stop at its border. It is dangerous to continue onward. You turn to go back and notice a devil's finger beneath your feet. 
take it or not. Should. <laughs> why. Why not? I mean, which devil finger? Like, I, I hope it's a middle finger as well, so we, we can send us other devils to the places they deserve. The devil finger. They will periodically shred the clothes so the new ones can grow. Sharper and stronger. The discarded fingers turn to stone and have a healing properties. Plus for health. So, uh, is this something I can uh, I, I put in on my um, like item scene over here? Okay, okay. Plus for health. So, I, I'm 17 health instead of uh, 13. Nice, nice. There's uh oh I can go back uh, I need to go to this area area in order to to visit Zeus. So here to fight uh, the spruce branches part whatever her old mill stands before you. This place is filled with legends and stories from the surrounding villages. Those who visited this place at dusk, or worse, at night, speak of dark phantoms in the windows of the mill, of sudden gusts of wind and other devilry. It is what they call a bad place. Mm hmm Look around. We just we just found uh, that the devils are the one who actually working in the mill, not stop the wind. <laughs> it's devil's work, devilry. Door to windmill. Can I just go around it? Backyard. Oh yeah. It's hard to see anything in the dark gloom of the night. Nevertheless, you feel your eyes getting used to the darkness. The black book may be aiding you. Amidst the thick grass, you spot an old axe, its blade covered with rust. Take it. This axe may fall apart any moment, but it should be good enough to for at least one more strike. So, like, uh... Where 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 is goes? That's the question. Items. Okay, so it's just went cell locked and lock and lock uh, and your abilities to equip more items. So I don't know where that XP shit is going. Like yeah, we have this black book here, map. Items. Knowledge. Oh there it is, level one, uh, I see, I see, I see. So there it is. No, uh, it's knowledge thing. Level five. Uh, knowledge of orders. Increase number of orders in your Zagari by one. Increase numbers of keys in Zagari level nineteen. Level three. A uh, page deal one more damage. Level three. Pages with the shield increase the value by one. Cordoon uh, streaks allow it to change one card with, an, with a trump one. So we don't have like any trump cards. Um All right, this is interesting. So they're giving me six card, but uh, It should be like all these four order cards and two key cards. I see so that's how they draw in from a deck All right Devilry number of shorts as well as list of service each idle short to romance is called Dune Master Idle chort. So I don't have like any any chorts or uh, devilry shit yet. Gonna go uh, behind here. Tail pole. It's a carrier log. It's used to turn the mill. The old wood creaks in the wind. You can climb inside using a log. There is a small hole in the wall. 
Respect. The old windmill is creaking from the cold wind. It is not so often that you see this kind of mill in Chirden Uyezd. Windmills in Perm. Windmills are rarer assigned than, uh, than water mills. This is because it's harder to catch the wind that's to harness the power of running water. Often windmills were built with a moving roof that was operated with a special lever. The wind uh, could be caught just so that uh, the wind blades could begin moving with optimal efficiency. The most effective kind of wind was not the strongest wind, but moderate wind. Before the revolution, blades were fitted with a special fabric. They were laser, uh, later fitted with uh, plywood. So I can climb inside uh, the mill over here. I guess instead of just going through, through normal mill, there's a herb. Just climbing over here, use the back door. All this is the back door. It's a carrier log. It's you. You try to clamber up, but your misstep leads to a painful fall. Another attempt, and you are safe inside. Minus three health. <laughs> Easy. Bill. Some kind of will has been placed here by the miller. Okay, I see the demon over there, dude. I see it, I see it. Green stone. So, what is the difference for, uh, from entering? I just stuck there, dude. Just went and stuck behind, behind some barrels. I can't move. I, I try I try and like to to out to move her. Okay, okay, there you go. That's did work. Is it an ornament or something else? The grindstones are still, but the blades of the mill are turning. Chest looted. This chest is for various tools used at the mill. Nothing interesting. Uh, really, really. Locker, uh, something. You study the cabinet. Among various krinkas, old pots, and birch bark containers, you find a sack with silver rubles. It might be of some use to you. Take it. You choose to take the money. The miller will hardly miss it. Sure, evil deed. <laughs> She's a witch. Don't blame me. The third floor. Herb. A Reefs. broken block of wood is near the wall. It seems to be part of the windmill's mechanism and the reason why the grindstones are standing still. Through a hole in the wall, you see the woods of Chirdin. Pure outside. They're, they're just going way, way back. Okay. It's the same. Okay. A broken same. block of wood is near. Look at this chart. Uh, I expected to see a wretched old man. Certain brother. Maiden. Why are you here then? Short. And I didn't expect to meet a demon speaking the common tongue. I'm an apprentice witch. Who are you? Ha! Huh. A demon, you say? Oh, you see, maiden, I'm not a common short. I am known as the Thirteenth Brother. I am the guardian of the village, the forest, and the secret hidden garden and its heart. I'm also the guardian of this windmill. Okay, so like they they have some demons guarding the village. Russians. All of this is me, the unseen master, at <laughs> your service. <laughs> and look at the sorry state of windmill. Nice garden you are, dude. Like that that that's that's normal. It's Russia. 
I mean, that, that's basically every every uh, other building. Uh, some a few kilometers away from Moscow. What kind of name is that? The Thirteen Brother? It is a name whispered through time and across many lands. Until it became my name, that is. I will tell you the story if you want to hear it, of course. There is still time until the dawn. Tell me. Well, come on then. Tell me. Speaking of his devils, that's what we're doing here. And the demons of the world. It is good to meet a sorceress that doesn't immediately hurl herbs and venomous phrases before engaging in the more sophisticated art of conversation. Very well. So you're interested. A long time ago, I had twelve brothers. I was the thirteenth brother. At that time, there was a war, and we were enlisted, you might say. I served under the strongest and most capable commander. He kept me alive, and so I became the last of my brothers, the thirteenth and the only one remains. You speak so slow that he can probably tell more than 20 uh, sentences before dawn. <laughs> After all those years, fate has brought me here. So that, that's the trick, like, stole him with, with, with the dialogue before the dawn, and sunrise come, like, just burn the devil. That's what I do. Why are you here, then? Me there? Mm. Well, what do you want with the windmill, then? Haven't you figured it out? Perhaps I was wrong about you. I thought of you to be a strong witch. A master of wit, deduction, and intellect. <laughs> One endowed with knowledge that others do not possess. I guess not. What? You you're already threw through my deception? Just like that? Master of his deduction and intellect. The windmill is possessed. But is the demon's presence here as spontaneous as it appears to be? I must think about why he's here in the first place. Uh, presence here is as spontaneous as it appears to be. No, Miller's a cursing. No, uh, no cross. Lured be sacrifice. Like, chat, what happened in here? Do, do we have, like, any... Any backstory over here? Like, I, I don't think we have, we have a knowledge. I think we missed some knowledge, right? Because there, there was one knowledge that we missed, and I think that, that that's... That's what happened over here. Just not enough knowledge for this shit. Like, uh, the knowledge. Alright, uh, encyclopedia, the windmills. So, the, 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 this knowledge not, not, not added anything to. Right, we don't, we don't have it. So, I'll take a half of XP. It's better than, uh, than no XP, is it? Sacrifices were commonly performed when constructing a meal, so that the spirits should help the miller. Okay. The better the sacrifice, the better the meal it would work. You were summoned by a sacrifice. You've been here since your creation. Well, you are knowledgeable indeed. Not to mention, I'm I bound to this pitiful miller. But I desire a powerful master. Yeah, so look, I, I, I don't know, I don't know how, how this, um... Losing this 25 experience here, how this is gonna be fuzzy impact impactful on my overall progress. Overall, I would say, uh, it's bad to lose a, any XP, is it? Take me as your servant. My sacrifice will attract someone more agreeable. And you will have both 
Your reward from the miller, and the reward of my presence. Do we do we need like some <laughs> some miser of a chart of a devil? I agree, of course. Like some random guy asking me, some random devil asking me to be to be her mist his mistress. Sure. Well, so be it. I could use a chort like you, if not just for the conversation. Wait, perhaps you are not as strong as you seem. There is yet to be such a Kaldun who can outmatch the thirteenth brother. So you still want to test me? You fool. So yes, yeah, so dropping drop, drop in three here. He's doing 16 damage, dude. Master, all minions disappear when this demon dies. Eternal uh, unremovable. 62 hells. Just swing it. Horny guy, a bee of service. <laughs> like, we can we can bl block for a uh, whole 5 here. That's about all. And draw more cards for the next turn. Um, so, um, do we just block in here? So, uh, we can take some health over here and we can block here for eight. Alright. Send the uh, amplifier this one. And we also heal in here. Alright. So 16 health. 11. We're doing the 5 damage. Uh, he's, he's still going, going 16 health. Uh, let's believe. So, look how, how the lock, uh, how the lock work, works. Do we just like, lo lo lock myself over here? Will that work? Firm. It's working as, as, a, as a thing as it is. The page remains active as returns and affix as the pages. Oh. Oh, okay, so it's not gonna be like locking this shit. Oh, uh, I see, I see, yes. It ain't gonna fucking work as I think it is gonna work. So let's do, do this is damage. I, I, I just can't block the, the shit here. So I, I'm blocking for 7. I'm dealing 16 damage. 7. Uh, I'm still gonna be uh, leaving some health here. So let, let's, let's get some health over here. You can all only use one item per turn, huh? It's a good thing I did use it there. Can block for ten. For now. Let's see how that's gonna work. So we have a lock here. Uh, well, worst. Blessed. Oh, dude, like, we, we ain't good. So I, I, I want this one persistence, the theorem for. Uh, not for damage, for sure. It's giving some health. I wanted to, to cast a shield. <laughs> Three shield every turn. But uh, that's the only thing I can do. Cast the, the heal over here. Uh, we need to use a herb here as well. 15. So not 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 getting. Wait, he's not attacking. Oh my god! Wait, he's not attacking. He's casting a shield on himself. Wait a minute. 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 I'm a fool, huh? Should I just go uh, and get, get this damage? 
This is a healing me for uh for two turns. Two per turn heals. We're blessing uh the vase. I just uh, sh uh okay. We can use the vase for uh, for uh, for later. Seven in health. Fifty-seven. So he's attacking against for sixteen over there. Wait, so th this firm block is persistent. What? So I'm not healing. Wait, it's not working as I expected it to be. Positive banner, uh, possible banner waiter. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I uh, saw so my healing card will really persist for for a while. Why? Why this one over here? Can I just put it over over, over here, like in, in a lock place? Like, I, I don't know. So what what have they even done this for him? <laughs> so is gonna be casting this healing now. Bullshit. I'm gonna waste it him. I totally don't get it what, what this fucking lock is even doing. It didn't cast the heal there. I need to use a herb. I'm doing for 16 again. Uh, and. Uh, have this Raba can put in other vase on him. So it's going as a blessing. Yeah, this definitely wasn't doing uh, the shit I was expecting him to do. This attack was normal attack, I mean. For damage, uh, making six. I guess this count. Okay, I guess I get. Okay, I see. I see. I see why you maybe want to look. It can count to, uh, towards some color, right? So if, if there's the card required the black color, it's car count like towards like one uh, one of this color. Mhm. Mm so that, that that's 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 why it's here, but it's not doing as uh, as it's supposed to, uh, as it's sort of gonna be do, doing. So it's a di have a different purpose. Basically, we don't really need it. <laughs> yeah, it's a waste, but we don't really need it. Wait, did he just kill myself? Did he just attack myself? <laughs> really? I just attacked myself, but for four damage. Oh my god, dude. Why? <laughs> Why? Any anyone anyone know? The page remains active for three turns. The uh, FX uh, other pages uh, well, well first. Well, that that was a bullshit. That was a bullshit. No, like you're, you're again attacking yourself, dude. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Who are you attacking? Okay, you're attacking the, the devil. There we go, we got the swan hit points over there. Curse him a little bit. So she's attacking next. Can't do much. Except put some barrier. Make sure there's a barrier we put it on myself, huh? Ten health and we're healing for uh Did he just heal devil? Did I heal the devil instead of myself? Oh what a clown fiesta. No, like why 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 are you fucking You fool! Dude, why are you putting the shield on the devil? Like, this make no sense. <laughs> Hopefully that holy magic that like, dealt some damage to him. She didn't draw, uh, have arrived already by now. She did dawn. It's not here, what is this? Attack seal a random page, duration for seven uh, turns. Okay, we don't care about this one. Just go all attack on him. Dude, why, 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 why is even, even, even a shit here? Look at this, look at this. That's so bad. Sounds a blessing. So we do need, need to, to eat some herbs. Five damage. Three of that. So arrogant. Do you really think you can defeat this ancient spirit? Yes. My book will help me. This can't be. This can't be? What he sealed. Still have some luck here. Uh, but we don't have like much of a damage to do. So we can do the blessing on myself. So uh the healing by three or by one, fifteen. So still uh, eating some herbs here. Seven health left. Okay, she's doing armor, so uh, lose to me. Have the blessing. We cannot reach. Okay, that's uh, sealed. It's fine. The lock also sealed. Wait, he sealed two cards? So he's gonna be sealing like a... Uh... Oh, he's sealing a random card. Every turn. Is this how it fucking works, huh? That's a bullshit. A lot of health. Have an uh, attack per turn. So 
with her lock, uh, silver lock. Again, again, going uh, all, all in with the damage. Protect myself. Certainly, we have a uh, certain. Okay, we should be fine, all right. Just in case, let's get full health. So it's taking five damage here. Taking six per turn. Okay, he's going. He's going all defensive in the mid too. That's as much as I can do. As uh, actually, I'm gonna do blessing. Should we do the blessing before? So we should, uh, we should apply the blessing first. And then doing this one and that's uh, the two attacks gonna deal like what a six and four. Six four okay nice 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 and the five the book it is a legendary artifact. I never gave up before, and I'm not going to now. Bring in now, you devil. Bring in. <laughs> this is Johnny. So he has 19 health. We didn't 4 damage over there. Uh, can I just kill the guy? I have a question. Apparently I can't. Right, so I can remove his shield here. Break his shield. But I only can deal uh, four. Okay, we have a blessing. Press attack for one, so it's five plus, uh, plus three. Eight. And there's a four over here, twelve. So not, not enough to get to get through. Not enough to get to get through him. No blessings, so nine hells. Fifteen in casting. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Damn it, he's still, uh, he's still this one, but yeah, that's all right. That's three damage, seven, seven damage, and uh, and four. Okay, he's, he's done for. Waste him. If so only I can use the Ruda. So he should die like next turn here. Alright. So imagine we don't, don't need to cast anything, he just died on his own. Is how, how, how is it gonna be? Just died from, from a dot effect here. But uh, the question is he attacking first or is uh, the dot happening first? Okay, dot happened first. A new page uh, are firm, well worst. The page remains active for one turn and affects other pages. The page effects amplified by one for every page of the same color. Uh, so it's two damage. Like well, interesting, called Dune Fiend. Remove positive status to well worst. Geshir. Does not use the word, uh, word slots or uh, Zagor. Okay. So the, uh, the Coldun Fiend 
remove like positive effects from from enemy. That's probably gonna work. Okay, -ish. 666 XP. Nice. You take the demon into your personal service. He will ask for work, like any other chort. The mill is now without a spirit, but this is none of your concern. Okay, his favorite occupation is to interfere with the work of the peasants, so if he knows all about housekeeping and farming, resistance to status ward. Uh, new Balichka. So what the hell the Balichka is? They're not returning home, there, 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 there's still uh, some shit to uh, explore here. Old Igor has passed uh, on you his uh, pastor full of charts. Uh, you know, now we have a number of charts yearning for mischief. Be careful, I will charts torment the golden master. It takes uh, some time for church to do the job, uh, a day or more. Each location has specific type of job, hunger, strife, corruption, etc. Each short has a job preference, you can discover it by learning a specific skill. Shorts perform better with uh, the job of choice and worse with the one they hate. In order to of chores not to torment you and uh, steal your health, don't forget to give them jobs every morning. Resistance to Southern's War plus two of a bad deeds. Blind. Th this is giving me like all, all the bad deeds, he said. Knowledge. Did we got a new knowledge? Still like level one. Okay, so if he didn't, uh, if he did get like this twenty-five XP additional, we were uh, will be like le level two, knowledgeable. Oh, there's a different uh, kind of skills also to unlock. Okay, okay, okay. This could be like more compli uh, complicated. Uh, so it is. So let's see if we can go over here. Can travel at this time, okay. Just return home. Chapter one: How to kidnap from a uh, banya. And then he disappeared. He won't be interfering with work at the windmill anymore. So you took up a new chort. Hope it doesn't backfire. Why would it? Why would be like taking on a demon with backfire? Well, while you were gone, I had some thoughts about the seals. Every single piece has its meaning, and every seal requires a demon. The second one is the Aspen one. We'll have to think what to do next. Seal of Aspen. Let's get to work as the seals. The first seal was opened by touch, and that was all. How do I open the second? Well, not by simply touching the asp, that's for sure. I think we need evil spirits. So we'll find the asp and demons. Where do you think we can find them, Grandfather? I don't know yet. I'll have to think on it. Go deal with the things you can at the moment. And let me think. Okay, as a seals. Can we open the others right away? I doubt that, but who knows? Look around a bit and maybe you'll fortune upon the right chart. Get to work. I see. Time to get to work then. Demon came from the oven. Are back. You know, a bit of entry? But I didn't send him anywhere, this shores. The Kaldun's familiar familiars. After his initiation, the Kaldun received not only the knowledge and power of sorcerer, he also received his familiars, uh, familiars, imps known as the Bess Chort, 
to the uh, uh, uninitiated, those demons appear in many different forms, as strained glass, bugs, or other insects. They can also appear as uh, little humans like creatures with the boy of a man, uh, the head of a mouse, uh, the arms of a frog. Familiars uh, can be uh, werewolves, cursed men, heretics, the unholy de dead, or chimeras. <laughs> I like the, the the heretics also like I miss the creatures here. Familiar you, you heretic, okay you're gonna be my, my familiar. In the forest uh, a curl dune can be um, aided by the werewolves and the wedding guests uh, that have been transformed into bears. Wait Wed wedding guests you know like he drank too much, he became a bear. And he's serving the, the Vichy Cordun now. The werewolves can be uh, distinguishable from a regular wolves by the eyes, which burn red. A Cordun's imp familiar uh, must always be occupied by work, or else they will cast a curse on the people or animals. This is why the Cordun, uh, to keep them busy, sending his familiar to make ropes uh, out of sand, count the leaves of the trees, or empty the sea with a Teaspoon. <laughs> well, ropes out of sands and count the leaves on the trees. That's pretty easy, right? Empty the sea with a teaspoon. It depends on what kind of what, what kind of size of teaspoon is. Demons of the meal. Now, um, so we read, we read the demons of the mill, did we? No, we didn't. Not long ago, there was a rich man who lived in the village. He has a water mill. One day he fell ill and found himself at death's door. He told his worker, Gather the three horses and take me to the mill, for I will die today. The assistants uh, did as uh, he was told. Uh, as he was riding home, he told, uh, thought to himself, How did my master know that uh, he would die today? He called his horses uh, to a stop and rode back to the mill. When he arrived, he peered quietly through the window. What did he see? But his master just sitting there, crying bitterly. Just then a trap door to the cellar opened, and several devils emerged. They tore the master's skins open and ate his flesh. Then one of the devils possessed the miller by crawling into the skin that was uh, left over. Okay, that's a new knowledge. So what do we do with this idle church tormented with Silisa? Oh, so th those guys are my shorts. 13. Resistance to word. Favorite occupation to free work uh, of the peasants. All about housekeeping and farming. And uh, a preaching during uh, the re uh, reign of Ivan uh, the Terrible. Matvey is now a fiend. Defense uh, pages give mi minus one more defense. Nani. Fat Ivashka likes it when children star starve. Fyodor one eyed. Majima Senpai. Lost his eye uh, in a bed with a uh, sinful uh, lot who accepted bribes. Now hates people even more. So, how do you send them? Okay, let's see, like, uh. Assistance word, so, uh. Blind. You slow. Four turns, three turns. Do, do we have like any, any description of this? Chair Dean. Make husband and wife quarrel. Okay, make husband and wife quarrel. Oh, I see, I see. I spoil the rye. Blind. Spoil the rye so th this, this guy w won't when the children sp uh, send rats. Scare peasants into the gobbles. Gobbles. Send rot into the roots of a peasant garden. Spoil the rye. 
Okay, this guy's this guy's gonna be enjoying this job, is it? What is it? Number of days for a chart to complete the job. Amount of rubles chart bring. Number of scenes to receive after chart completed the job. So getting the scenes is good. Cause giving plus one box here. Plus one scene and one box. Uh, so this is a debuff here, so we always like, need, need to send them to do so, some shit here. Okay, so let's see, spell the Raya. S s send this fun guy. You hate people. Spell the Raya. So h how, how do you send the guy? Enter. So okay, send. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. There, there's little little button called send. Uh, blind. Just need to blind some. Send rods. Make husband and wife quarrel. Should I send this guy? So I'm gonna okay. You know, that that guy has one eye, so may, maybe he he was a better a better chart for a blind job. <laughs> send the rats. Four days, yeah. So blind was spoil the rye, send the rope to the peasants, scare peasants into the gobbles. You know about uh, all about farming. So what about spoiling the rye as well? Will that work for him? No, it's the four days. Well, about the black book. About the black book, we can craft some cards over here. So the sink is... Uh, I don't think this like lock gonna work for me. It's just not gonna work right now because my current deck. So we're gonna be removing this one. Remove positive status uh, and well worst. Well, it, it is work, the cold don't work with the well, worse if the lock saw. But we need to prepare for that. Hmm, but we need to prepare. What else, else we can, uh, kill her? For 12 rubles we can craft this one. It's maybe not, not, not the best one. It is it is better than uh, Urazi, like, if you think about it, it's better than Urazi, so look, if we add in the lock here, uh, if we're removing, like, uh, if we get in this one Kila here, and another one, and we're just removing this Urazi, uh, and that's all, like, so we're just keeping, uh, replacing uh, the kill, uh, the Urazi with the Kila, alright, that sounds like a... Uh, Yeah, so, so, sounds like that, that's gonna work better for a deck. I sent them to perform an arduous task. That's why they weren't around. Now I should give them tasks? Well, what did you expect? I just did them task, damn it. You knew what you signed up for. Everything has a price, especially wishes. <clears throat> if you don't want them to torture you, send them to curse people. That's the life of a Kaldun for you. And if I don't want to curse anyone? Then suffer. These demons won't leave you alone. I've seen them before in your pastel. Not often, though. Pastel? Now you will see them plenty. 
You can observe our entire gubernia in your pistel. In the end, you decide what you do with those shorts of yours. God help us. God help us. Well, uh, that, that it is. Four visitors. Pester is a short. So we already like pestering. Already pestering. Uh, so th this guy uh, over here, actually, that who went for uh, send rats. Apparently he, he was uh, he was okay with this job. All right. But those guys and those guys didn't do a proper job. So the it, moment I became a Kaldun, I saw the Uyest in a completely different light. Yeah, we can learn more knowledge from this guy, apparently. There is no such place where a demon wouldn't hide. You just noticed your own shorts are also a giant pain. About all you are. How did you come to be a Kaldun, Grandpa? Well, told you the other day about the demon stealing Timothy. That's the reason for it. Fighting the pointy tailed. I heard once that shepherds are no worse. So I became a shepherd boy. Helped Prakopi, the holy fool. Holy fool? <laughs> Chat, when, when are I gonna get the holy uh, prefix to my, to my name? I shouldn't mention him at night. Knew his way around the forest, that one, and how to find lost cattle. So I studied under him. Anyway, it's a long story. I'll tell you later how I received my knowledge. It's not like I got it from him, anyway. Had to bust my butt. In any case, see how I managed to teach you. Appreciate that. Okay, uh, Prokopi. I do, Grandpa. What kind of man was he, that Prokopi? Not a kind man at all, but of great knowledge. Cursed a lot of people. Practically earned a living that way. Nearly cursed me once. Uh, shepherds? Are shepherds really knowers? What makes you think they aren't? I mean, they spend all day, like, uh, watching the sheep. Nothing else to, to do. They, they're they great sinkers, you know. Why don't you try finding all the cattle in the forest without a demon's help? One has to know how to ask the old man of the forest for help. And in case a demon steals a cow or something, Huh? You you have to be able to get it back? You'll have to learn. What did you think? Shepherds lie on their backs all day. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, that's ex that, I mean, I, that was like... Uh, we have... Uh, on, on, the, on the several adventures like this. Uh, shepherding the cows and stuff when I was little. Like, n not only me, like... There's a bunch of other dudes. Wait, who are you using us like uh, as errand boys? You wish. But that's what, what basically what they do. You just lying on your back all day, going on a picnic, go back. Uh, tell me about your own shorts. How did you manage your own shorts? Nothing to it, really. Just give them something to do. The only thing is, they can't manage every task well. Their job is to wreak havoc. They don't like any other sort. Little, uh, little man. Once we asked the Koldun to show us uh, his imps, he was nice and drunk. It, uh, it was around uh, Maslin's time. He waved us. I'll show you, but don't be frightened. Each has uh, on the blue short pants and red shirts. They stood in line like a little man, about 70 centimeters tall. They didn't walk, but hopped about. And when the Koldun gave an order, the wind started to howl. I'll send them to the forest to count the needles on the pines. And when they need it, I'll call out uh, the wind uh, with, will blow them back to me. He sighed bitterly. The imps asked ins insensitive for work. What work? It's absurd. When I took them to mow, come the next morning, the grass was a waist high again. Their true calling is to cast curses on people, but the more you curse, the more imps you get. It's a torture. 
Demons at the windmill. Demons are the one turning the grindstones at the mill. Well, the miller won't turn them, that's for sure. Can't the wind spin them? Do you have to use demons everywhere? God, <laughs> it's, it's a free working, working like labor, I don't know, free, free labor. Wind, imagine the wind of water turning like this. Yeah. Turning the wheels. Not happening. It's dangerous. This is not it how physics works. Well, what did you expect? It will soon be the 20th century. The demons might make it easier. If they can start making floor, who knows? Maybe we can teach them to reap, too. You've heard of steam engines, huh? I think there's a steam chart inside, like the one you can find in a samovar. Nani? Nani? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Have the visitors. Yegor Yevlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna, it's me again. Emilia? I came to give my thanks. The spirits have stopped haunting us. Here's what I promised. <sighs> Antique and mortar. Herbs and healing uh, vagaros are store one health. Bezulok of it is the miller inherited uh, this mortar. It's far too old for uh, him to... Uh, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. The spirits, however, took the money I saved for my grandson's books. <laughs> Why they need the books, dude? Well, it is what it is. Well, the spirits, dude. Like, what, 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 that, what are you gonna get? <laughs> it was me who still who took it. So, uh, the items here, item collection. So, uh, I think it's better than uh, all decks here, right? Just like plus one, plus one health uh, every time, like a healing with the herbs. So, instead of uh, five, you're gonna six, and the healing, okay, the healing cards are gonna give you better. It's pretty powerful. Vasa, hi! Peasant. She swelled up, just like you said. You were nowhere for sure. Here, a gift from our household. Well, see you. Okay. So what There's is the shelf? There's a great number of books in this collection. Illuminated books of old as well. Black books are not kept here, however. They're in a secret compartment near the furnace. Grandfather says that in days of old, they used to bury people under the stove. That is how the Domovoi came to be. Really? Really? Galbets and his boss seller. Old Igor says that's where the Domovoi lives. I've never met one, but I once saw a black figure standing still in the corner of the house. Like Domovoi oh, oh, living like on the cellar actually. Uh, oh, oh, not 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 in the cellar. Oh my god! Like on the attic, on the attic, upper side in the cellar. Okay, next one. A commissar. Be well and live long. My godmother sends a jug of milk and sends her regards. Kolya, is that you? Hello, old Igor. So, you're back. Yeah, it's been at least a week. You sure have grown tall. <laughs> How tall are you, exactly? Uh, Twelve uh, Vershoks? Well... What brings you here? I heard about your man, Vasilisa. It's hard to lose loved ones, I know. Hmm. However, I'm here for another reason. I need your help. Yesterday evening, at a get-together, I made a bet with the lads. They dared me to enter Banya at night. I don't believe all this supernatural stuff, you see. When you go to war, you see things you know. I entered this old banya, the abandoned one, by the river. It was around midnight. I opened the door and saw a sort of blue light, and it was quiet. I reached into the stove, you know, to take a stone. They wouldn't call me chicken if I showed them proof later. Suddenly, a hairy paw grabbed my left hand. Here, look, it left a mark. 
I see it. Bannix. A Bannix was the master of the Banya in which he resides. He could help or protect a man, but also scare or even kill him. It was important to perform a ritual correctly and uh, be careful not to violate any taboos. In the various villages of uh, Cherdin's Uyest, it was forbidden to use the Banya during uh, the first or third uh, hitting or when drunk. A man could suffocate or burn himself to death, even that were uh, considered to be the punishment for the Banik. A man could also fall into the hearth, constructed of uh, rough uh, hewn stones, later constructed uh, of bricks. Sometimes Banyas cut fire, so people build them uh, far from uh, the Izba or even on a uh, river bank. Peasants often gave birth to children in Banyas, so there was always a risk of uh, a devil replacing the baby with the aspen, log or broom. Oh, okay, so aspen log, maybe there are some aspen, aspen charts in the Banya. Dead. Devil didn't let me go. All of a sudden, some female voice said, Marry me. The hand was hot as fire, and then I just lost it, and it kept on asking. Dude, like some hot chick asking you to marry, of course, yes. <laughs> and she still held on to me, wouldn't let go, so I told her I would. Then she let me go. I ran as fast as I could. <sighs> Damn this demonic power! You are a knower. Help me, would you? Nikolai visited the Banya at midnight, and something grabbed him. What might that be? Shalka's a Banik, right? In the Banya, you say? Well, you that's get a level radical, right? and grow in power. So you are now in the skill selection of the menu. Here you can unlock a new magic ability, so you can visit this section through a menu at any time. Uh, while each level uh, you increases your health, okay, and gain knowledge points which are necessary to unlock new abilities. As you increase your level, more and more demons will join your uh, swarm. Some abilities unlock automatically uh, at the moment of obtaining a certain level. Oh, like those guys, like level 90, level 5, increase the number, level 3, page deal one more damage, the fairy word. So, uh, where do we have, like, any of my skill points? Skill points over here. Have, uh, devil before, uh, level 3, page is shield increase the value by 1. Durak, Goldun trick allowing uh, to change one card with a trump one. Okay, so, uh, that's interesting one, can, can we? We don't, we don't, we, we don't like, uh, have... Um, we don't have idea uh, about this trump card yet. Well, let me go back to this. The skill points. Knowledge, this one. Uh, backs plan knowledgeable. So a big bag, number of active slots for item is increased by one. Okay, that's interesting. Active slots for items. So basically, uh, items over here, right? Sell and locked. Uh, th those things could be useful depending on what kind of items we're gonna get. Um, shop prices are reduced by 10%, increase the number of items that can be used uh, per turn by 1, uh, visiting the peasant uh, bring 10, uh, visiting per person bring more 10, 10 more rubles, determine an additional um, order page each turn, additional key page, pages cre uh, creation cost uh, is reduced by 20%, Choose four pages uh, after the battle. Page discretion uh, reduce. Opening the tool tip uh, does not reduce uh, the experience reward for a correct knowledgeable ability. Okay. Okay, opening tool tip does not reduce experience reward for a correct knowledgeability as answer. Interesting. Orders. 
Shorts bring more gold from a job. You uh, can send one short on a meaningless job. Short spe uh, specialities and job types are visible. Oh, I see. Ch uh, chance of future short to complete uh, the job while reduces by 50%. Reduce uh, karma, like scenes. For each short, bring your uh, job completion by 5. Minimum 1. Chance for short completion of the job well increased by 50. Increase uh, the karma. The chance for short bring back the hurry from his job is increased by 66%. Okay, so there, there's pretty uh, pretty interesting abilities. We're gonna be uh, staying on this. Lord Almighty. I'm gonna be waiting for this. So what does she look like? So its hand was hairy. What else did you notice? I couldn't see anything. It was completely dark. The hand was black and hairy. So the stone? What did you do with the stone? Well, I took it with me. To prove to them I wasn't yellow. Didn't tell about the demon, though. Dropped it off at home later. I told my godmother and she sent me here right away. Ah, wise woman, your godmother. Okay, I'll help you. All right, I won't leave you to the wolves. Vasilisa, take a closer look at the demon. This Banyak may have an Aspen seal on her. Go to the old Banya tonight, both of you. Talk to the demon and find out why she wants to marry you. Well, because he's such a fine, like, military man. You, Kola, use this balm on your left eye to see the demons. Don't forget the stone, Kola. I'll wait for you outside. Okay, there's one more, Kola. Nikolai. Didn't think I'd be seeking help from nowhere. I've always depended only on myself, my military service. Well, it's quite a story. Maybe later. So back in the days, uh, if, if they take your first service, it will be like in, uh, in the Tsar time, right? You're gonna go on for like, uh, is it 20 or 25 years? I was from eight to twenty for eighteen to twenty five years, like some big, like big big time, like uh, very big. So basically, it's uh, I just gi giving up, like on the people they didn't want uh, in the village. All right. Hey, Vasya, they say you're a over now. This may be of interest to you, then. The other day, we were gathering berries by Kajil Lake. By the way, I have brought you some. It's near Zapolsk. Anyway, we came across this clearing with holes everywhere. The horror! So I thought you might want to go there. Who knows? Perhaps there are evil spirits. The holes. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we can set off on an adventure. Let's save. Save. Damn it, like... Press an escape, not 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 getting me like uh, into into the menu. You save. You have now ability to take uh, your companions along uh, on your travels, allies. Each helper uh, has a unique ability you can uh, make use of in the battle. Uh, presence of absence of certain helpers affects outcome of in-game events. All right. So abilities, uh, a backhand plus five damage. And Sucubidia enters too. Uh, so th th that's the mine, small, uh, Banya. That's the mine event. What about optional quest? Oh, it's over here. Exterminate, uh, examine the old piece. So we did miss, like, uh, those uh, two, uh, Two locations, right? In a previous chapter, kind of probably I saw that we can go back to them, but we just ended the story. So uh, yeah, we should have go back. Mm, well, we're not gonna go back, so we should should have done it before you know boss fight, before we get our chart.
So how do we bring the, the allies? I have like Sorg, what does Sorg use? Wait, you've set, set up like, okay, right, right to the village. You notice a black silhouette on the road. It appears to be shrouded in fog, and is hard to distinguish in the soft lighting of the night. The air is filled with a strange song performed by the demon. You've never heard this melody before. A chill runs down your spine as you listen to the alien melody. Let's him finish it. The devil continues his song. You listen, holding your breath and not moving. Soon, the melody stops, crashes against the tops of the fir trees, and dissolves in moonlit silence. You feel that perhaps now you understand demon kind somewhat better. How does this be? Suddenly, a magic circle shimmers at the demon's feet. A moment later, another devil appears by his side. His burning eyes are staring right at you. Prepare to fight. How dare you. Okay, there's the two demons, so what he's doing? Summon more evil spirits, really? This is against, uh... Dealing three damage. So we don't really care about this one. Alright. So this, uh... C can I use it, like, all the time? Or not? Restart the battle. That's not what I want to do. Items unavailable here. I uh, can swap this. So uh, I was thinking about knowledge. Okay, uh, do I just. Or I can upgrade during the battle too. Well. We just want to kill this guy. So we kill her. Kill her. This guy. This is upgraded uh, the damage of this one. They both upgraded each other damage, so that's, that's basically, like I say, better than, than a normal card. Right? It's dealing the same damage, but if, if you have at least like two black cards, you're already de uh, dealing the one more damage. So it's also like, uh, got like some 12 damage over there. Pretty good, pretty good. He's doing a 10 a damage over here. I can lock it. It's like uh, 16 damage. I can get uh, 5, 5, 13. Uh... So h h how, this, how this works. Oh, I see, I see. So like you can... If, if I cast it before... I would uh, get get an additional damage over there. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So we're taking some damage, but it's fine. Gonna heal after. Seven, those guys dealing six. Oh, so I only can attack once, however. I see. I have three, uh, three turns to scroll down for that. Uh, uh, all right, all right, all right. That's ain't good. So I can bless. To do four damage over here. That's about like all, all I can do. I deal in ten. I can get myself a uh, seven. Ten. Okay, I'm still, I'm still taking three damage over there. And we're not doing damage myself. Uh, 
Fine. Any damage? What are they doing? Removes p uh, positive status. Okay, uh, that, that's basically free. So, Kila. Kila on this guy. I just wasted him. Uh, we just put in a lock over here. It's all celebrating the, this one a little bit. So, Kila already like killing kill this guy. So, instead of wasted uh, on, on this guy. We just been uh, wasted like uh, of those demons, right? This is just gonna kill him. He's doing six damage over here. Uh, okay. So we're doing, uh, we're just healing a little bit. This guy have one more turn over here. And we're healing myself again. Two, five health. Twenty-two. So I'll take like one damage over there. Let's see, there's Mokilis. So it's uh, five. Doing one damage over here. So it's gonna be six plus, uh, plus four. So he's dead here. This guy. And he's just blocking uh, myself for, th for three against this guy. Dude, get 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 in that lock card right now when we get in like this combo. I was pretty pretty good uh pretty good move. Mm -hmm. Supreme intelligence move I would say. Okay, so well burst. Uh I just can kill myself over here for now. I just face this guy. Have used his ability. Wait, did I not put a shield, Nani? Oh, I, I, I healed, but oh my god, dude. I didn't put a shield, huh? I'm a fool. So he's attacking him. We're doing a kill on him. She's going five and two, and five. So she she she's she just dead by, by by default. I don't even need the blessings. There's also damage over time. George the father of our worst blessed plus three increase uh plus three for each page for uh okay damage of each page for three. That's pretty good. Fears apply a uh, plus two after each use of pages of the same name. Okay, sure, it does not use the word uh, slots or zagoras. So I get in plus two. Damage after each use of a page of the same name. So if you have uh, more more of this Gria, I get more damage over there. Mm, I'm, I'm not sure, like... So guess you, I didn't guess you to my book, it's not bad. And uh, getting, getting another Blast is not bad as well, but it's like, it's not giving me a shield, so it's, it will be uh, quite a bit uh, harder to, to use. It is a Blasted, uh, plus 3 damage. And it's uh, sticking for uh, two more uh, two more turns. How about just getting get the ski tank here? 
So I think I, ha I, have, I have a useful, uh, use for this one. So we didn't learn the song from the demon. The spy me, me listening to it. So like, I do want, I do want this one, but it require level three to open. So I wonder if like uh, if he's just uh, doing anything here or not. Like increase number number uh, items per turn. That's not that bad. Additional key page per turn. So we we draw we in like a. Uh, Two, two key pages, right? And th there's other pages, and uh, two uh, two key pages. So if you're looking at my book right now, the key pa uh, the keys we have uh, the tongue, the lock, uh, the cold dune fiend, Igla. Ruda and Raba. One, two, three. Uh, so we have okay. We have two Rabas, however. I don't know if I want that many. It is a shield. Do I just remove uh, that Titan one? Because we have the lock here. Simplify my lock and uh, going for a. Uh, Super big kill, a killer. So we just remove the Rudy over here. So we have like a uh, six, six over there, over here, and then we just uh, draw in three per turn of those. Mm -hmm. Like uh, understanding of an holy also looking interesting. This can give me like addi uh, additional choices for cards. Let's see. Let's see how how this key gonna work for me. So it drawing like seven cards basically. Additional key page. Mm, uh, drawing more cards, getting more options is always uh, always good. Um, it's, it's been been like this in every card game. You want to draw as many uh, as possible. And uh, go through the uh, through, uh, through the deck as fast as possible. Resalka's uh, Blackwater, Backwater. You notice a strange sight in the distance. A ball of snakes is rolling around the woodland road, scales glittering in the moonlight. Help me, Goliath! This uh, this snake with uh, brushwood. Reader Snake uh, defending the Zagavar. Look around the snakes. I mean, there's an NPC help, like, so let's see how the NPC help work. I feel like uh, reading the Zagavar would be better, but... Nikolai grins and picks up a large stone. He throws it right at the snake ball. Most of the snakes scatter, but some of the enraged creatures slither your way. Luckily, you find some healing herbs near the overturned stone. Okay, start a battle with the snakes. <laughs> Nani. Serpent of the Salka. Poison. For each page you uh, read, uh, excluding gestures, you suffer one damage. Oh, this is fucking bad, dude. This is like literally bad. Can we just kill, kill the bastard? Right away. Oh my god, snakes are f fucking dangerous. So let's remove positive status. I, I would like to remove like negative status, so... Huh? So it's a uh, buffalo of this, remove positive, uh, will worst 
All right, so just uh, buff this like for for a lot of damage. So how 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 much you have? Ten plus four, fourteen plus one, fifteen. Uh, and that uh, black hand. Oh, we go. Oh, we go over here. Regular poison. Fish patient read, excluding the gestures you suffer too. So this guy not dying, he's doing five damage, dude. I really need need, need to get the killer here. So suffering damage, but yeah. He's dead next turn, however. How long is the poison gonna work? Well, are we gonna be healing something? We're gonna be healing for four over here. Two, uh, two. And then kill for four. Alright. So this thing that, uh, but this thing dealing me seven damage over here. Yeah. We're still taking damage over here. So, uh, how do we do it? Five. I can apply five and some healing. Uh, but I, I really need the big, big actually shield here. All right. This is just not gonna work. Suffer one da okay, suffer one damage. So I guess like it's, st it's still okay-ish. Still okay-ish. So I'm gonna protect him from, from that big damage over there. So he's taking three damage from poison. We're gonna heal a little bit. No poison. Uh, snake down, seven, fourteen. So he, he, he want to apply another poison on me, bastard. <sighs> Let's go with the killer, alright. What do we go with the killer here? Oh, that's a big question. Okay, so we have a buff, right? So killer doing 5 damage. This guy, uh, should have just wasted him. Waste it with the lock. So we just put in lock here. And we just put in a uh, damage every time on it. Double check in. Alright, and then we kill him next turn. Babushka Mandalina. So a little bit of health. So next turn is five. He's doing five damage to me. All right, and taking like one one poison from all of this. So I can uh, I can hit him with, with with him. All right. Can put a five shield on here and try to heal. And try to heal with the babushka. And try to heal with the igla. So it's a uh, babushka, two health and three cards and four health over here on the shield and we're taking three damage here, uh, but healing for six. Okay, I'll take it. So we got a 17 and get a shield. Trying to apply the poison. I would like to heal here if it's possible, but we didn't didn't uh, drop uh, any any healing card, did we? I got a bless, so 17 is still a good outcome out of this. So we just kill him. 
maximum damage. Six, six. Um, like. I didn't saw any positive effects from 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 those snakes yet, so maybe maybe we can uh, we need to re remove the cold dune fiend because we're not drawing uh, enough keys through to all enemies. Firm, the page remains active for one turn and affects other pages as well. Okay, well worth the blessing. So there is a damage. There is a two shield. It kind of my, remains for one turn. Which is, I can I can do something different. Oh, you mean okay? Never mind. Firm, firm is remain. Okay, so giving me shield remains for one turn to to affect as a. Yeah, ma maybe not. Maybe just gonna get this area damage over here. So grab the RV damage, but uh, like I said, do 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 we want do we want that the cold and fiend over here, for example, to so have a better chance to uh, to to get the the ketone, the Geshe card, the basically free damage, especially pretty good with. Uh, uh, Yeah, maybe we remove blessing altogether. You know, let's remove blessing also out of here. So we have babushka, but then we have uh, we don't have much of like uh, much cards to work with the babushka. Well, there there's a shield card. We have three shield cards and kila too. Should I get another kila? Like 14 cards should be should be okay to go in wrecking people around. Yeah, we, we didn't see so much of the game yet. Feeling like uh, this deck looking uh, shaping up, shaping up a little bit. Give me a second. All right, next uh, next one. Mikhail's cross uh, crossroads. Near the old gravestones, you see a demon. His eyes are focused on the sky. It seems that he is in deep thought. He merely sighs when he notices you. Greet him. Attack the demon. Dude, like I, I really miss the, the the card game in in my you know in my life for a while. <laughs> I'm super enjoying it right now. Quit him. And all, all this like mythology, alright? Especially because like, I can know part of it as the, from my daily life, kinda. When I was uh, a kid at least. So it was a pretty, pretty interesting game. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's you! I remember you falling into hell. Nanny? What a talkative short. Well, what's so special about that? Me? I flew out of hell and decided to stay for a while. Help me find an answer to a question. And I'll reward you, which. Okay. Well, sure. Ask away. Make a deal with the devil. Look, sure, every time, yes. I'm searching for an answer. What are the three kinds of dates? You go out on a date with your loved one. Well, that's one. What are the other two? What are the three dates? You have one with a loved one, and the second one is? Village. Surname. Fruit. Nicola Essenglay for help. That's XP. Dates, I mean. What are the, 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 the three, uh, uh, three, uh, three dates? Have one with the loud one, date with the loud one. Like, uh, a date as, as a date, you know. Months and something. There is no fruits like a date, right? The surname. Date as a surname, village. Ask Nikolai for help. Kola, you've seen a lot. Maybe you know. Well, 
Let's think. The second date is a fruit. Fruit what? The third one is a day, like date of birth. Uh -huh, you're a clever one for a soldier. Now I can win a battle in hell. Here you go, some coins for your knowledge. Extra speed. The demon Hundred. disappears into flames. You continue on your journey. Firm in the ward plus three. So what is the ward? Increase shield for uh, plus three at the beginning of each round. That's interesting. It remains active for one turn. In father's name. So it's, uh, guarantees shield for for three, like uh, at least for two rounds. As good could, could girl piety. Increase the value of uh, in pages for uh, shield pages for three. Oh, okay. So every shield card I draw, uh, uh, I draw in, giving me additional shield plus three per shield. But this is uh, just uh, applying three shield automatically at each turn. Remove negative status and three. Uh, I think we pretty much won this uh, Salm Salmida thing, and I'm adding it to 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 the deck. Uh, this, all of this looking pretty good. Hmm? I I would say it's looking pretty good. But we need a way to remove the negative status for now. So let's uh, let's roll with that. Do we just removing uh, some more more cards out of the book in that case? Salmida. They just remove Babushka altogether. Like it's gonna be like too many, too many of the order cards. Because we, we 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 play in two and we draw draw, draw in two like order cards, but then then we have like uh, how much order cards altogether? Two. So we're definitely drawing a uh, two every turn. Four, uh, four over here. Five, plus five. We have ten, right? So in order to 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 draw the Salamina, for example, another uh, one more turn uh, on another turn. I just need need to go through uh, at least three turns. All right. Cause we have only one um, one card in the deck. You can, I like to have the drawing the order cards and the key cards the as a separate entities. That's pretty cool. I feel like, so far, I feel like a pretty well sort system. Mm -hmm. So where we're here, Trinity Church, Trailing Herbalist, Breach uh, to the Banyas. We still can go here, can we? We just we just gonna try uh, try to, to to hit all the location. Oh wait wait oh if it, uh, oh I see uh, Yozova Village. Let's see how it is. But people live in the small village on the uh, Sidoka River. They often visit it, uh, get advice from uh, old Igor. Not once have they asked to curse anyone. They did. Shame. Like a gloomy skeleton of an unknown beast, the old remains of a burnt house stand before you. All the logs are charred black. Some of them have collapsed and are covered with moss. Only the white stove gleams in the moonlight, still intact, even after the fire. Inspect it. You walk around the house. The inside is dark, with logs poking out like the rotten teeth of a dead man. You see a shaggy silhouette of a demon inside. Demon, fight him. Step inside. You take several steps inside the hut. You suddenly hear a crack, and one of the burnt boards falls on your head. Minus five health. 
minus five health and minus two intelligence. I mean, it was it it's false on the head on the head after all. Look around. It's hard to tell who used to live in this izba. You step inside, and you seem to sense the smell of burnt wood. Stars and pine branches are visible above instead of a roof. Suddenly, you notice a shaggy figure near the furnace. Call out of the demon. So it's near the fur a fur a furnace. Uh, it's probably a dumb away, is it? As soon as you make a move towards the mysterious figure, it disappears. A ball of baked clay lies where the black spirit once was. You take it with you. Take the clay and you light him. Uh, Hearse clay. This piece of clay contains the words uh, of the hearse and uh, the care of the unseen family spirits. Apply five shield on the first turn. So it's better. It's better than my candles. All right, candles apply three shields on the first turn. Uh, all right, let, let, let's take it. Mm-hmm. But my, uh, my, my, it's cost me some health, night health, dude. <laughs> Charge. It wasn't for free. You see a friendly flame burning in the distance. You come closer, and soon you are standing in front of a lonely church. Inside it is warm and cozy. It smells of incense and old wooden sculptures. Soon, you hear a calm voice. Greet the abbot or abbe. So you wander in at night again, Vasilisa. Be careful on the road you travel. It can lead you to places no one can help you out of. <laughs> I've already been to hell and back, dude. <laughs> Greet the prayer, bye. Buy what? What do you buy? Buy. Oh, okay. So what's saying here? Your lips were made uh, for drinking honey, honeycomb, uh, eloquence, increase well worse than effects for three, incense, blessed, blessed increase uh, f uh, damage of each page for five, holy water, so that's why we need, we need, we need all this gold, huh? Waste resources are uh, um, okay. We made a uh, spells over ca uh, cattle on uh, only one day. Sprinkle it with the holy water so it would stay healthy. Imperishable. Uh, waste restores health instead of uh, dealing damage. Waste restore health. Holding icon. Herbs and healing uh, zagovers restore. More health. Ten more health. Oh, this is pretty good. Chances that the herbs don't disappear after you thirty percent. This is also looking pretty good. Your first Zagor always has a lock page. Firm. Plus three. Nice. Prayer book. Strengthen the status prayer plus one. Increases bless uh, of the turn star on the turn start by one. Increases sh uh, shield value in page for two. Strengthen the status piety. Okay, piety. They're like all, all, all pretty good. Equivalence increase well worse than effect of well pages. Increase uh, damage to each pages. Gain a plus two bless on the battle start. Increase shield value pages. Gain PT on the battle start. Give seven each round. So uh, uh, gain plus seven regeneration on the battle start. Okay, I pretty wa I pretty much like won this one. Kyrian ch uh, Cherub. Mm hmm. Better than having like random shield. Limits the maximum uh, attack received by 77. 77? Dude, it's insane. He's starting from the red corner. That's no good. He should be in a church. Uh, 
I ma imagine who, who can deal the major damage. Rage increases blast by one uh, with every health lost. Reinforce ward. Ward increases by one if each time health is lost. Reduce your tournament from charts by one. Okay, interesting. So we can buy really uh can buy really much here with my 87 rubles. Uh, need, 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 need to go for gold, so there, there was the prices and stuff reduction and uh, getting more gold. Apparently it's uh, it's a good shit, right? So we can sell some uh, old eggs over here and candles, so we can make something out of it. It's still not enough to, to buy... Uh, what do you want to buy, like? What, what is good, right? What is good again? The the prayer? Herbs and healing a Zygaris restore 10 health. And just getting 7 each round. Well, the hefty looking good as well. So, you wandering at night again, Vasilius. Read a prayer? You read a prayer and rest a bit. Okay, health restored. All, all health restored. Nice. Like all of it, right? 22. Very dang it. Goodbye, Holy Father. Hmm. But we need, we need to get this cash here. Ravine. Let's check the ravine. This ravine is cur uh, curved, hence its name. Plenty of misfortune happens around this place. There she works uh, eye and ill places it is. So should I just save? If we go in there. We feel like we want to get more XP before actually checking on a place. You approach the open rift. Dried bushes are sticking out of its walls like the rotten teeth of a dead man. You carefully look down. Suddenly, the forest around you is lit by a strange red light. As you look up, you see a fiery ball zigzagging through the sky. Defensive Zagur. Your words are lost among the tree branches. The fiery ball flies away, and everything is silent again. Nani? So it's, uh, it, it was the wrong choice. Okay, let, let's see. Let's just, let's just see what's going to be happening if we just read... Uh, you approach the open rift. Dried bushes are sticking. Your words are lost among the tree branches. The fiery ball. Nothing happened. <laughs> it's the same. So apparently we just we just not, not ready for this shit. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't have like anything in this location either. So do do I do I just a lord? Because we're playing on the hardest difficulty, we need to maximize the gain we can get. Or we just leave with, with, with this. So I wonder what happened if we just, okay, if we just go back and, and, and you know. I say visited. Oh, I can't, I can't visit the visited location. Oh, I can't go back, huh? So basically I, I can't, I can't go and read, oh my god. So I can't buy the shit from, from a church, is there? Oh, 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 that's a pretty bad shit, is it? So I can't, I can't go back. You can only visit location by one, one time, huh? Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. So th that, that, that's, that's actually pretty good to know right now, or did it? Fuck! Did it just save? Oh my god! Instead of loading, fuck! <laughs> fuck! Oh my god! Fuck! Where, where was this you save? Approach the open rift. Dried bushes are sticking out of its walls like the rotten. You try to run away from this horrible apparition. A careless step, and you fall. I didn't, didn't work, dude. Like I, I want to get to the church. Uh, fuck. Ah. 
Salka Blackwater, is it was the one? How did I you notice a strange sight in the distance? A ball of snakes is rolling around the woodland road, scales glittering in the moonlight. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That, that, that's basically at the very fucking beginning of the shit. Oh my god, when you fall the snakes and I never save there for whatever reason. I need to save every turn, dude. Like, you need to save every turn. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna uh, go and uh, lo load this uh, cursor ravine. So we don't not be able to buy to buy the you shit from the open rift. Dried your words are lost among Mm-hmm. So we'll not be able to, to buy the, the shit from, from this guy, apparently. Let's have it is. Okay, well, lesson learned, lesson learned. I saw we can go, go ba back to the locations like, when we get more money, but I probably could sell some old artifacts and buy at least something. At least something, there was like, uh, we're gonna get like uh, over 100 gold. There's a rotting bridge over a small river, a tributary of the Kolva. In the moonlight, you discern a strange silhouette on the other side of the bank. Come closer. You take several steps towards the silhouette, but it disappears in the morning mist. A chill runs down your spine. That's the 50 XP, nonetheless. So I'd say uh, they're still traveling herbally, so she's selling something. Mm -hmm. So I, sell, uh, I say we, we, we take all, all the goods over here, all the gold we can, and visit the herbalist after that. So maybe, just maybe, you can Night travels are buy not something. the most convenient ones. Something good from In her. the darkness, you can stumble upon any kind of evil spirits. This is precisely what happens now. You step into a silent meadow where a demon is drinking tea from a samovar. He notices you and invites you to join him. Nikolai, help or talk? What's even Nikolai gonna do? Your friend isn't familiar with demonic etiquette. He rushes headlong into battle. <laughs> what a fool, dude. What a fool. Why? Why? Yeah, okay. Duly noted. He did 55 damage, dude. 55 damage. Retaliation time. Number of turns until uh, recitation is complete. Recitation times 3, 25 damage. Oh, okay, in 3 turns you're gonna do 25 damage. This guy doing some shield here. So we start, uh, starting with, with the lock. Have two killers. Uh, we, we want to drop killers. Waste him. I put I put in this shield because I want uh, I want to draw like more cards. Seventeen. So we go the five shield. Two turns. Uh, he's putting more damage there. Okay, so what, what do we got? Key gash here. Uh, we didn't we didn't drop like another killer. Which is pretty bad. More negative status like. No way I can protect against 25, so we need to kill him somehow. So we need to draw uh, attack cards over there. Alright. Okay, okay, let's go. We're taking 10. Uh, this shield, sh okay, the shield not stocking, so th th that's one good that we learned before. Um, mouse went out the window of the border. Okay, so we drop two, two killers, plus two to all. So here we go. Killer one. That's a five damage. 
And I was uh, just going through his shield. Next one is going. Uh, so doing 7 damage to him through the shield. Alright. And I'm going uh, another. Oh my god, they don't have a key actually. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, the key is pretty cool, but. If we only have another damaging card over here. The key tank. Well, it's 7 plus 7 plus plus 1. So it's 15 damage. Have uh, he has 17 health. So they're gonna hit me with this big damage here. Uh, so do we just remove his shield here? I think that's what we're gonna do. We, we, okay, we, okay, we had the damage return, uh, return here, but we're still hitting him for for 16, right? Instead of 17. There we go. A little bit of overkill, so. He's trying to do damage now. Waste the bastard. Like we're not dropping much of attacks. I, I need to reconsider all of this. On my on my deck over here. Yes, I saw we, we we are good on deck, but we uh not not looking that good actually. There's uh, a lot of wasted moments. Now uh, firm, well versed. George the Fowler, a father, Babushka. Increase uh, attack of each page for three. Let, let's try this one. Four rubles from killing those guys. Okay, like all, always saving, right? That's uh, what do we need? Like save after each battle. So we're not not. Uh, we need to save before the battle and after the battle. Okay, dude, that 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 will be even better. <sighs> let's see about this book. So let's to see about this book. We just remove all damage over here, well worst. Killer. Babushka. Like the Ketan Glock Theorem. Igla. We just remove the Igla for uh, for now. It's can give me like pretty a uh, big health. So do I just add in a uh, bag the Plus two damage. Is Ruda? I think I should add in this. Have seventeen cards here. Mm, like I really want all of those, but I think I should remove the Babushka. I think I should remove the Babushka out of the of, of this. Maybe remove one Raba altogether. So we still have 15 cards. I mean, draw in 3 per turn. 
Need, need, need the next level. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty soon. Okay, zero encyclopedia pages from all of this. Maybe we could Dark get. Dark pine branches move to the sides, and you see a meadow, strewn with old, overgrown pits. You come closer and look into one of them. The green of the meadow drops into the open maw of the pit, from which you sense the cold of the grave. God knows who dug them up, and why. Inspect the pits. You start to inspect the pits one by one. You take one careless step and tumble down. Luckily, the pit is not that deep, and you climb out with ease. Main Street Hells. You frequently look around. You feel as if someone is watching you. You almost decide to give up finding anything in these mysterious pits when you notice an old grave at the bottom of one of them. A grim pit is filled with a damp stench. You see an old cross covered with a rotten towel. Near the grave, there is a small pot with an offering to the dead. Inspect the goblets. The old cross is covered with moss and mushrooms grow at its foot. You feel uncomfortable near the grave of the unclean dead. Uh, okay, okay, so that, that's giving me some encyclopedia shit. Mm-hmm. The goblet's uh, gravestone. A goblet is a gravestone shaped uh, like the Izba, a traditional Russian countryside dwelling. In ancient times, the dead were buried in a small house without any windows. This is why coffins are referred uh, to in some northern dialects uh, as houses or houses of the dead. In northern uh, Russia, a, gra a gravestone in the shape of a cross, sometimes uh, toppled with the uh, schematic roofs, was called a goblets. Goblets. The roof uh, held uh, to protect the cross from rain. In the southern region, uh, a pseudo roof was set atop ritual crosses uh, or atop crosses that were placed near the crossroads. On the day of uh, Pentecost, the souls of stillborns, infants who died before baptism, and those who died a natural death were believed to appear atop those crosses. Okay. So inspect the right. old cross is covered with moss, and mushrooms. Yeah, take the offerings for myself. In the pot by the gravestone, you find a couple of gold coins, <laughs> which you quickly pocket. Evil deed acquired. But it seems yes. to have disturbed the dead man. Suddenly, a white spirit rises from the grave. Prepare to fight. Fifteen. What all attacks miss the creature duration for three turns. Okay, 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 okay. Pretty rude. I would say so. So I di didn't have like uh, the buff removing, huh? So the, 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 that's considered a po possible buff, po the buff removing. So that's considered to be a positive, a positive buff over here, huh? That's what's saying. So there should be enough shield here. I'm honestly don't care about about this. I want to drop like more, more shields later. So. Miss. Two damage. I'm going for ten next turn. Oh damn it! I didn't drop like anything, dude. Vase here. Huh? Will the vase also uh not work? That was pretty, 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 pretty bad cards we got there. Fine. 
five damage. Okay, it's three hells. All right, so damage over time still is still actually working on her. And now I just didn't drop anything, and she's still missing me. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, like, like, yeah. I have all these attacks here, but not a single shield, dude. That's uh, what we call pretty bad. Like pretty bad. So we're taking this uh, damage to the face. Okay, so what she's doing? She's doing 15 damage. This is where, where we're like uh, killing him. This uh, uh, I would like to say here. So Kila four, Kila six. All right. Then we can uh, Ruda. It's a buffing uh, her even more. So it's like a six, eight. All right, plus two and uh, and one. Ten uh, more, more than enough than kill. So just. Uh, Healing myself a little bit with, with this as well. Dude, I should put a heal before before I kill her. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. I should put a heal before I, I went for healing. That was bad. Well, worst. The patient affects amplifier by a one for every other patient of the same color in Zagora, sorry. Avoily, fierce, firm. Okay, so uh, this is pretty good too. Plus five health, next level. Did we got like all? Oh, okay, so uh, we just level up, so we got all all this, all the health here, back, which is pretty good. So let's save. Doesn't really matter if you lose them, but we level up in a process. So can I craft the cards from from th this? I can craft them, but instead of this one, all right, we, we want to uh, uh, we just we just keep in this this one. It's literally better better than starting card. It's the same thing as. Uh, Yes, yeah, so Cold and Fiend, we add in this one here. In that case, uh, in that case, we, we remove the Ruda here. Yeah, Cold and Fiend actually pretty good, pretty good, huh? Do not have have we drop like all all of this uh, black scars over here? Do we do we just remove like one one of this? Nala, that's too to all damage. Like every damage pretty pretty good, but so far we didn't didn't saw like many enemies, many encounters that can really use uh, every damage to its fullest. Yeah. Maybe we keep uh, we keep in the babushka after all. But do it like. No, it's hard to to work with the babushka. So what 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 do we change here? But if we took like uh, we took out one raba. And I feel like uh, the Traba actually was was pretty okayish to have overall. Uh, so we want want to increase the uh, level of cards here, but level stupacious increases their value by one deal more damage, so more shield.
there on it. More shield value of uh, or we just drop in more uh, more additional. Okay, uh, I actually can do an additional key card. Like drawing additional cards, like it's pretty good. But we only can change two and one here. For now. Oh, what to do, what to do. Number of key, uh, keys in your Zagorat by one. Okay, uh, increase number of uh, orders in your... Uh, by one over here, but le level five here. More damage, more shield. Let's change the cards. I'll take the shield for now and see how, how, how that's gonna work. Let's go to next one. You hear a familiar voice. Young folk are having an evening gathering, although it's not the best season for it. Get closer. Hi, Vasya. I know you have no time, but sing at least one song with us for all time's sake. I agree. All right, but just one. You sit by a house and it's dissolve done. in a deep Castor's song. Turn. Join the singers. Do we do we force to, to listen to this bullshit? Okay, we, we got the song right, we got the encyclopedia, so we're gonna go to Herbalist now. Herbalist, so we're just buying the shit. What? Want some Pyanix? I've sold everything already. Oh, you want some herbs? Well, take a look then. Bye. Bless increase uh, the damage of the page. Caterpillars, poison. Vasilisa, for each page you read, uh, execute gesture, you, you suffer one. <laughs> one damage? Why would I need that? Deal one damage is turn ignoring uh, armor. Like, I don't know, decrease the uh, damage in pages for S3. Curse on the enemy. Increase shield for each, uh, at the beginning of each round. Word for three. Right. We have 100 gold, so... Didn't got, like, much, much out of this. Let's move into to the main location. Abundance are prone to fires. People stroke uh, the flames too hard at the time. That's why they often build uh, on the river banks. Nowadays, some of those bunnies are abandoned. Okay, if only I can go back to church and buy myself some good relics. Okay, we can uh, go around, Pally. A small barrel once held water. It's riddled with holes. It is unlikely anyone can use it now. The small barrel once held water. Well, Dura, Nikolai. Herbs, yeah. Here it is. The old Banya. The things it saw during its lifetime. Encyclopedia entry. Uh, Banya. In Cherodin, the Banya was one of the most important features of an estate. People washed themselves and uh, their clothes in the Banya, as well as the curate themselves gave birth, made div divinations and conjured. The Banya brought health, but it was both clean and unclean. Children birth left the fields of original scene, which had to be washed away and cleansed through the holy water. Young people often uh, organize... Uh, Yuletide gatherings uh, and games in the Banya and sometimes formed couples. If during the offer, uh, 
If during the often cruel uh, Yuletide games none of the men stood up for a girl, she was considered to be almost the same as an old maid in the prim martial uh, hierarchy. Song. Right, let me talk to the guy. Uh, don't forget to save him. Don't forget to save him often. Here at last. And all these demons in these parts, I had never thought. Evil spirits have always been here. But you won't be able to see them without me. These chorts harm people, but nobody can even see them. Enemies here as well. No place is safe these days, I guess. I've been thinking, why did the spirit attack me? Someone must have been there before me. Well, first of all, it was night time, and evil is strongest at night. Besides, why did the evil spirit attack Nikolai? Didn't ask permission, no cross sign. Uh, choose the correct answer. So the seven, okay, no cross sign, didn't, didn't ask permission. Was there anything about like Banya that we need, uh, need to ask a permission from? I don't think there was. Right. And you're not going like in Banya with the crosses, is there? Uh, little man. So, Banix. So uh, it says something about like you, you can't go like uh, uh, drunk here in the barn, right? Not uh, perform rituals correctly and uh, be careful not to violate any taboos. In the various villages, uh, it was forbidden to use the barn during the fir first or, or third hitting or when drunk. Fall into hearts, uh, okay. I don't I don't see any any appropriate knowledge for this. Right, there's a Banik and Banya. So it's like educated uh, guest didn't ask permission. Banik show up their rituals. You didn't ask to be let in, did you? Okay, here we go, here we go. Educated guest. Why are we gonna go in with the cross inside the banner? Yeah? No, I didn't. I just walked in. Well, there you have it. The spirit took notice of that right away. You don't say. The banya has sunk a little. That's why it got stuck, I think. You're a strong fellow. You open it. I can do that, sure. But could you put a Zagavor or something on me so no one grabs me? Step inside, look around first. Wait here, I'll look around first. There is nothing else to look around here, is it? Unless we can go around the bar now. Well, is it time? All Let's right. go. I know just the thing. Stand still. So the boss fight, are we ready for this? Or we need to reload <laughs> at the beginning to, to collect better guards, get a better deck. Shelves, candles. All the shelves have rotted through. Beneath them is darkness itself. This is the kind of place where Bannocks dwell. Oh, behind the shelves, though. Let me, kind Bannock, pay a visit to your home. Repeat after me, Kolya. Let me host Bannik. Now, let's think of what to do with this bride of yours. She's been waiting for us, I suppose. That blue light has been shining here, right until we came in. Let's summon her and ask some questions. All right. You are the knower here. First, let us prepare. Struck the fire, yeah? 
I read the dagger and drove the circle. I'll draw a circle to be safe. I don't think your bride is evil, though. Better safe than sorry, Vasya. Struck the fire, read the dagger, struck the fire. In order for the Bannock to know we're here, let's heat up the stove. And that stone that you took, put it back. It's better if you do it. I sort of forgot how when serving in the army. Really? Very well. I read the dagger. After that, we'll step into the circle. I'll read a special spell, and just like that, she should appear. Vasya, you are a Noah, no doubt about it. And that's all. Well, let's get to work. Make a circle. Put uh, the stone. Put it back into circle, the girl. Well, is it time? Yes, it is, Court. As soon as I start reading, the demon will appear. Are you scared? Don't step over the line. If you step out of the circle, she'll strangle you. All right, I get it. I'll stand still. Here we go. Bannock, my hostess. Let us wash and steam. I'll wash you. Oh, no. Hey Please. there. Don't run. Hear me out. The bath bride. Jesus and his troops. Don't move. Let me talk with this Bannock. Wait. I'm not a demon. I'm an ordinary girl. An ordinary girl, you say? I'm just an ordinary girl, to say the demon. Believe her, yes. Bannock says that she is but an ordinary girl. Is that a demonic trick? What is she then? Bannock. She's just, she's just a Bannock. Changeling. Uh, she could be. She could be Changeling. Like, uh, she could be swapped during the burst, right? If you're not a demon, you must be a changeling. Yes, yes. You're truly a knower. Supreme intelligence, like, and all the shit. Well, it is as I said. I've been living in the world of demons for a long, long time. Eighteen years. I've grown to resemble them. I was still a child, and came to wash with my mother. I did something wrong. I can't remember what, but my mother said, Devil take you. Oh my god. She curses her child. And so, an Abderiha took me. Abderiha? Abderiha, and uh, it's a mistress of a banya. She can be the wife of a Banik, and usually uh, behaves the same way as he does, punishing those who visit the Banya at the wrong time. It is believed that an Abderiha uses her clothes to skin such people. This is the origin of her name, which is, uh, if translated literally, means she skinner. Her uh, appearances can vary. She can appear as a human or as a child. Most often, however, she appears as a woman with a long hair, large teeth, and a big eyes with the claws and horns. She was often depicted as the cat with the big eyes or as an inanimate object. Wait, she's a cat because he can scratch you, scratch your skin away? <laughs> oh my god, dude. I need to check if there's a Richard about that. I need to talk about all of this. It's the first time I see it. Hear it. Help me, Vasilisa. You're my only hope. You, you've been there for 18 years. Where have you been all this time? We wandered the Banyas. I got sent where the stove was hot. Such was my life. Now we live in this old one. Demons of uh, Asp? Do you know anything about Asp and demons? No, I don't. But I can ask the Abdiriha. So how can I help? 
How do we bring you back? To escape her, I need to get closer to the mortal world. Bring me a good belt, and a cross, the kind that's worn on the skin, and find me a name. Then the Abdiricha will have to marry me to someone. You, young fella, don't you let me down. Only you can do it. I will help. I promise you my word. Really? You you will? I mean, again, uh, any girl is good for, for a soldier, is it? The cross, the name, the belt. What kind of cross do you need? Just any cross won't do. I've been living with evil spirits for too long. I need one that's been worn by a demon. Crossed and worn by the demon? Where the hell did that get Well, that? that's a puzzle. Where can we find a God-fearing chort? Oh, I don't know. Your friend is a knower. You'll think of something. The name? We can give you the name right away. No. That won't do. The name has to be one from Sviatsi and given by a priest. Okay, and the belt? Where can we find the belt? I need a special belt as well. It is very demanding. It has to be woven by a skilled witch. I'm a witch. All right, we'll help you. It's wrong to abandon a Christian soul. Besides, you already have a groom. A Christian soul, he just said. But do you serve the devil, the Satan? Of course we'll help. Thank you. Bring me a cross worn by a demon, a name, and a belt crafted by a witch. I think I hear the roosters. I need to go. Come back again with the gifts. I'll be waiting. Until we see you again. The demon crawls back under the bench and disappears into black flame. You return to old Yegor's house and think about what to do next. So, Banik. A new uh, entry here. Oh, the Banya is not such a simple place. First, there's Masters of Banya, which, whom you can beg in. But there's other wonders as well. One time a soldier came to the village, he thought it was time he started a family, but all his peers was already married. So there was uh, just a widows and a young girls left unmarried. The former soldier started to do all sorts of strange things to show off his strength. One time he lifted the house with his bare hands and threw his uh, cap underneath. Another time he cleared a pile of wood with one strike, so the villagers said to him, Go and fetch a stone from the banya where no one dares to go, and where the lights burns at night. We'll know there's that you are not afraid of anything, but you must go do it at midnight. They made a deal. It was frightening to go to at midnight, but he went anyway, and there was indeed a light burning. Go back home. So we're done with this chapter. I'm really digging in in this game. But she needs a cross that was worn by a demon, a human name, and an enchanted belt. Then she hid under the bench. What a job you have. Worse than fighting the Turks. This is her destiny. A changeling, that pride of yours. What's a changeling? The bath spirit must have switched her at birth, I imagine. Now, Vasilisa. Can you guess how shall we lift the Aspen Seal? What demon is necessary for the book to open the Aspen Seal? With the logs, searching the forest. With the uh, changeling chart. Uh, we don't don't know here. Thirty-seven. So uh, if if you guess wrong, would would be like no big speed at all. This is again an educated guest here. What demons necessary for the book to open the Aspen with the changeling short? 
Let's go to the changeling. We talked about changeling. That Abdirih has switched the girl with an Aspen log. Yeah, okay. A log is a demon itself. Oh. Educated guests, child. Well done, Vasha. My teachings weren't for naught. The changeling from the ethereal world. These infants don't grow up, as you know. Hmm. <laughs> the question is, should we waste our time on the bride's requests if we ourselves can find this changeling? We can't abandon a Christian soul to evil spirits. <laughs> Christian soul. <laughs> if I were you, I'd think whether I should take a demon for a wife. <laughs> Only a devil will marry a soldier like me. We haven't heard of such a child up until now. This means that the parents keep it secret. Right. The demon might have gobbled up her parents. Without that demon bride, we won't find it. You'll help me then. We will. But what should we start with? Huh? What was it she asked for? Cross name and belt. A cross worn by a demon. Is such a thing possible? Everything is possible, Vasilisa, if you think about it. I heard that an Ikotnitsa appeared in Yenidor uh, recently. A man possessed uh, by the demon called the Ikota. Such people have strange abilities and in some cases the gift of divination. So Ikota, or Ikotnik, it's uh, stuttering basically. Um, okay, not not actually. Uh, I, I don't know the proper English word. It's not a stuttering. It's like you know, when you. Uh, it's similar to, to to stutter. Oh my God! What the proper English here? Oh well, I'm for memory. Go there and take her cross. Start with the cross. Uh, as a request. Let's look into the other requests first. Uh, the name. A name out of the Sviatse. Spiritual book containing the name of the saints in connection to calendar days. Sviatse, where I consult uh, to name a child. Well, uh, that's simple. Go to the priest and he'll give you a name from the Sviatse if you can convince him to. That is. What about uh, other requests? Let's look into the other requests first. The belt? An enchanted belt, woven by a witch. This is not as simple as it seems. You are a nobler, yes, but not powerful enough to weave a belt like that. It also takes a lot of time. I know this witch, Kapitalina Ivanovna. People call her the spinner. But she's not an easy woman to deal with. We'd better go together. Okay, okay. Uh, let's look so into the other let's go with the, with the cross first. Then we take a name potentially, because we want to also buy some items from from a church, right? The cross worn by everything. I heard that the okay, go there go. and take her cross. Then I'll start with the cross. What could be more important? In Yanidor, you'll find Evdakia Fokovna. They say her daughter was possessed by Ikota. So did you get all that? Okay, Ikota. Who is that Ikota? Come on, don't you remember? This one time, a woman from Pokcha came to us, so that we could whisper some Zagavars over her. And then a short size of a Vershok escaped from her. Oh, so that was an Ikotnitsa. Well, yes, this Ikota short uh, talked yeah. with us for a bit, remember? So Ikota, this ailment induced by the uh, Kolduna witch is representative of the Russian Norse, speci uh, speci specifically the Cherodin Uyest and Komiperm region. An evil spirit is enchanted with the word power and bound to the name and cast into the wind. The first person encountered who bears his name uh, became this victim. Sometimes stones or insects are enchanted with Ikota. In this way, the whoever happens to trip over the stone or swallow the insects by accident suffer Ikota. Ikota usually takes the appearance of an animal, a frog, a lizard or a mouse, 
Occasionally it takes the form of a frog spawn and more rarely an insect, a fly, a spider or a mosquito. It is not, however, always brought uh, on by Koldun. It may pass from the Koldun to any man in the event of the former's death. Whenever inside a person, Ikoda can speak with all kinds of voices. Hmm, I really don't like dealing with the possessed. Well, nothing can be done about that. So, did you get all that? Right, Yanidor. Where can we find that woman in Yanidor? Her house is closer to the edge of the village, the one with carved gates. So, did you get all that? Got it. What not to get? Go to the Ikotnitsa and take her cross. Okay, so we have some shorts to send. Nikolai to talk with. Play the cards. What was that with the stove? As if I'd believe that you forgot how to kindle it. And then you got a bit too scared when the demon girl grabbed you with the fire. It is as you say, Vaisa. It's not about the stove. I don't know what's wrong with me. There was this one incident. Since then, I'm not myself when I see any fire. I'm scared of it, something awful. That's exactly the reason why the lads dared me to go to the Banya. They heard the rumors and wanted to have a bit of fun at my expense. Only I'm not one to give up so easily. But why? What's wrong with fire? Oh, I mean, it's, it's hot. A long story. <laughs> it's dangerous. Uh, the bride, Nikolai. So how did you end up a soldier? Well, they took me as a recruit. We were just a kid then and don't remember much about it together. Old Yegor just took you in after your parents. Well, when you went into the service, was it by your own choice? Of course not. Aye, by choice. To be honest, some other lad drew the lot, but we have a large family. And I'm a hot-headed guy. Right, and a fine one. <laughs> Quite right. It was my decision. I made my way to my field regiment, and they sent us to fight the Turks. Did they give you your cross there? Aye, that's a different story. I'll tell it later. Okay, fire. About the fire. Would it take very long to tell the story? Maybe not that long. Anyway, don't be such a bath broom. I'll tell you some other time. Don't you have anything else to do? The bride. Do you plan to marry that girl or not? Let's help her first, won't we? She must be a strong girl to pull through that sort of thing. Maybe God sent her. A demon? Sent by God? Well, she said she was a changeling, didn't she? The girls of my age are all married. Who would marry an old soldier anyway? Only a demon. Only a demon, like... <laughs> is, is, is this basically a description of any wife? Come on, dude. <laughs> so we have two visitors. Uh, the shorts are back. So, what, what it brought me? Fativashka, I like it as a children's tear. Uh, Femi Shikau. Blind something. Send a rot into the peasant's garden. Scare peasants in the uh, gobbles. Golbets. So he's spoiling the rice. All right. Okay. Oh, tax completed. Okay. Take take the reward. Eight gold. Two scenes. There we go. There we go. So uh, we want we want to send this guy to a uh, famish cow. Oh, but th th this guy know know about the chores here. S uh, send the root in the uh, a rot into roots of the peasant garden. Send one day, two days for famishing the cow. One day for this. Very good, very good. So this have a map look like fair. Uh, Eastern Bridge, Swamps, Yanidur. Two encyclopedia entries, Nikolai. Oh, we can get uh, uh, Igor, yes, allies. Curse plus four, decrease uh, damage page for uh, four. Okay. 
he's locked for for now. He's available for, for another mission, so. Okay, 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 okay. Items. What kind of items we have here? Not much. So the shorts are busy. So with the uh, the guards here. We should do rough. So welcome to your first game of Durak. Durak basically means a fool. <laughs> That's little, little, little of translation. Your goal is to use uh, all of your cards. Uh, the last person left with the cards in the hand is a loser. The fool or Durak. Okay, well, they, they're just explaining it. The players take turns attacking the players next to them with uh, one of more cards. Uh, attack Nikolai with the... Uh, this six of heart. All right. So if you beat six of heart, I mean, I'm 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 professional playing the the Durak game. Just watch me shot. So you call beat you a card with his skin. Press and turn button to proceed with the game. Uh -huh. At the end of each turn, uh, the player takes turns drawing the cards until they have six of the heart, uh, in the hands. It starts with the first attacker uh, this round. Right there, there's also the, something called Kozir. Uh, basically, uh, all right, uh, the the seven can can beat uh, any, any higher value of the card, seven and, and ten. But uh, not not of the hearts. Huh? I mean, well, okay, they're gonna be explaining this. Nikolai attack you with uh, the eight of clubs, right? To defend from uh, the cards and put it as a discarded pile. You need to play the card of the same suit, but one higher rank, right? So like uh. A seven and nine can beat any any card of uh, other suit, even a higher rank than her. Okay, excellent. It's your turn again. Start your next attack. Play a seven of diamonds. Why would it play a seven? Okay, yeah. Then 10. Uh, also, Nikolai beat your card with the 10 of diamonds. You may launch a new attack with the cards of the same rank that has already been played. I'm, like I say, professional. For instance, you can now uh, attack with the 7 or 10 or another 7. So, attacking with the 7, he's he gonna, he gonna take the cards. Uh, we need to, to attack with 10. If you beat all, all the 10s, I may be gonna give him a 7. It's dependent on how many cards left over here. So we're gonna take. So uh, we're gonna give give him uh, this one too. Oh wait, he, I can't give him this one, Nani. Oh, because there, there's only one card. What? I thought you can. Okay. Nikolai gave up and took the card. Uh, for he has not nothing to beat them with. This turn is yours again. Before letting you play uh, on your own, we have to discuss discuss the trump card. Okay, the trump card, like that, that that's uh, the Kozir, right? That's that, that's 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 how it translate it translates into English. Now that the trump card, uh, the trump suit is stronger than other suits uh, and can beat all the other cards, even those of the different suits, and even those that are higher in rank. For instance, the trump ten will uh, even beat a king. Yeah, since the card the cards with the trump suit are stronger you should decide whenever to use them at your first co uh, convenience or save them for a crucial point by the way the player who has uh, the lowest rank in trump card on his hand goes first good luck uh, so what we want here we know he has uh, he has a, a 10 uh, diamonds uh, so we can continue with the 10 of uh, um, crosses here, or pikes, or whatever they're called. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. We're good. We're good. It's uh, it basically want to get as many trumps cards as possible in, in this situation. Oh, like we, we got, we got, uh, but yeah, we super, we're really good here. Yeah. So we can't beat this anything by, by a seven here. All right. Uh, we have two kings here uh, and eight. Uh, so we don't really need eight. Eight is the lowest card over here. So we don't really need need, need here in my deck. He beat it, and then we draw draw with six. He he passed the two kings on me. Mm. That's pretty bad. So. I may consider just taking it. I may consider to taking it. Like so we know he has a bunch of tens over here, and we've taken the king just so we can beat the ten with that. Yeah, it's, it's better better to take than just use my trump card. Mm -hmm. Here goes the kings. All right, so we're just dropping the six because we don't need the six here. He goes, okay, that's, uh, we're not giving him this. Definitely. So turns now, attack. Uh, well, that, that's why I just took a king, dude. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's a high, high value card. You can, you can beat other cards with. Him giving me this one was, was a mistake. Okay, we got this a nine. But it was a ten. How about this nine? The trump card. Okay, so we we, we just get a ten uh, trump card out of him. Uh, that's okay. -ish. We got eight trump. Went with six. Uh, did we solve eight uh, eight before? Uh, that's the that's that's question. I don't want to take the six here. Just throw an eight on him. Okay, and I have a uh, uh, ladies. So have a do it. Which is uh. So th this have a do it. We're dropping. We're dropping ladies to him. All right. That's been dropping a king. That we drop. Dropping this one, and then we uh. Uh, finishing with, uh, with this guy. So three ladies. Oh, okay, okay. He has this one. What about this? How about another lady? Nope. So giving you. Uh, okay, do. do uh, oh my god, I shouldn't, but it's fine. It's taken. We, then we drop in a king here. So he has no chance but to take it. And we go in the trump. Easy shot. Easy. Victory. So we got, do we get anything from that victory here? Or it's just like so, something uh, something to do like... Just, just another mini game there. How, how does that work? Didn't got any reward, did I? I played in with Igor now. You seem to be playing a dangerous opponent. It seems that uh, your opponent uh, has mastered the art of a uh, witching, witching Durak. Dude. What the witch Durak ta take? Oh my god. That's the slot. Oh, I, I want that prompt. Press the run. Wait, what? But she needs a cross that was worn by a demon, a human name, nope. and an enchanted belt. 
Wait, for, but, but I did save the, the all the girls bar. Nani? Nani? What the hell, dude? But I just just saved the, the, the game and it didn't save, is it? Nani? So th that's... I should have the... No, okay, no, never mind. This one, yes. Hold in. But she needs a cross that was worn. Then she hit. What did they say? I want the now. What demon is necessary for the book? That Bannock is like. I'll use dude. them right there in the den. I'll find a way. Dude, 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 dude. Why? Why is it going like? I, it says it's, it's have a proper timing over here. One minute ago, but it's starting the 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 quest from right right from the beginning. That's a bullshit. It's just literally start start the quest from from very beginning. Despite she save like after like was worn by a then she hit what a job this is I ch want to the bath now this what demon is necessary for that up duty a log well they check hmm. we can't if I oh shit oh shit right oh shit. we will but what should we start going for a uh, for cross cross if I go there and take her cross then I'll start with In so did you get all that? Who is that? Come up this and that oh. well mm. well so did you get all what not to get. Go to the Ikotnitsa. That's so, such a bullshit. I need to do all of this but despite I've been saving. Uh, total bullshit. How did it not, not save here? Like, so I'm pressing the save over here. New save. Got it. Like, this, this one. All Igor is bar. Then we just uh, loading it. Load the game. And it started with, with literally with with uh, with a scene over here. That's a bullshit. What demon is necessary for the book that up did a log? Well, they check. That's a bullshit. We, if, uh, we haven't. Right. We will. But what should we start with? Huh? What cross if I go there and take her cross? Then I'll start in so did you get all that? Who is that? Come up this and that oh. well mm. well so did you get all Where can we find her so did you get all that? What not to get? There's a great number of books in this collection. Illuminated books of old as well. Black books are not kept here, however. They're in a secret compartment near the furnace. <sighs> With the stove, and then it is. I, I only. But what? Oh, it's so. So how? Did well, we were old. Well, I uh, not. Right. Uh, I made. Did they keep? I. That's uh, about the fight. Maybe I'll tell you some other time. Do you plan to? Let's maybe. A de well, the girl would only a demon. So I'm not not playing the, this Durax scene because it's just bullshit. I mean, it's the bullshit. <laughs> They're going. They're going to the same. The same basically cards over here. Okay, they're not, they're, they're not going like with the same cars apparently. Mm -hmm. So I can beat him with a 7. There's no, no reason to take it. He beat it with, okay, with the king. That's not the king, 9. Now we don't have like actual tramp card over here. Did he like drop the nine over here? Okay, he beat this with a six. I'm gonna like losing this king. Wait, this is not a card as a king. I'll take it. Six and six. 
Repin uh, nine and king. That was a nine, so our lowest card is this one. Okay. Pretty good. Two of those. Dude, like, we, we, we're so fucked here. Uh, it's a fucked shot. Like, he's gonna win. He has a king and he has the... Okay, let's see. Eight. Oh my god, like, we're not winning this. You're taking this shit. So he has a king, but does he has another one to beat the the, the to beat this one? He has a trump card. He's taking it. All right. So he's just dropping nine over here. He beat him as a king. And then we just beaten him again. It was a harder game, but we still win it. Uh huh. Still make him a fool. So which Durak? Oh, it's Nikolai again. Okay, now we're out of here. Yes. It's two visitors. Listen, listen, listen. Thank you for your help with the banya. Don't thank me yet. We still need to free the girl. It's just that I wouldn't be able to go at all if it weren't for you. Here, I want to give you this. Here, take it. Deck of cards. Uh, through seven ace, through seven queen. Gain plus one uh, equivalence uh, black on battle start. New item. So like, uh, how, how does it even work here? Increase a well versed effect uh, of a black page. Well, again, well, well versed effect. What, I, what again is doing? I don't have a shit to put here. What's that? A deck of plain cards or something? Sure is. Been saving them for some time. They are antique, but first class. I'll teach you to play if you wish. Already they played. They say the devil himself is not averse to a good game of Durak. Play cards. Already did it. Already did it, dude. A boy. <laughs> get out of here, you meddling kids, or you'll get it. Run! He saw us. Wait, maybe they're here on business. Well, speak up. <laughs> oh, Vasilisa, we saw such a scary thing. West of Yenidor, there's a scary Isba. Evil spirits live there, for sure. Why do you say that? See for yourself. They say there used to be a party every day, but now it stands silent as the grave. Okay, I mean, how dare they know not to party every day? So it for ourselves. Well, well, you'll wind up in graves yourselves if you go wandering like that. Run you fools, okay. So like we just set off here. Fair. Like we can buy some shit in this fair, right? So we're gonna want to want to visit like uh last uh, so let's check out uh that is bar the house. Northern Forest. Uh you need to complete uh okay wait, uh the road. The torch and rod runs from uh Wildgors to Yanidor. I don't know the reason for the name. Nikolai says it was uh, the owner of the Turks. The Turkian Orod. You wander off course and walk onto the road more to the west than you had planned. You stumble upon a ragged man with rotten teeth and rotten eyes. You realize that it's a brigand. Traveling by night in Perm Gubernia is dangerous. And not only because of the evil spirits. The silence is broken by his hoarse voice. Are we not talking as him? But, however, chat. 
we're saving here. So let, let me check out how the save works for this event. Lord. Uh, the road. The start of the, the event itself. You okay. Off course. Okay. And, walk and we're gonna be stealing with this event to tomorrow, guys. I'm so digging in, into this game. With rotten teeth <sighs> and rotten there, there's, there's definitely realize it's pro it has its problems, traveling like saving. By night in Perm Gubernia is dangerous, and not only because of. All right. You saw what just happened. The silence is broken. Oh my God! Shut up. His hoarse voice. He shut up. Okay. You saw what just happened, right? We say we, we we went through some uh, series of actions, all right. We save the game, so spending twenty minutes playing mini game and stuff, and then we loaded the game, and it started what was what was very beginning. Despite I save like you know after I played and done a significant amount of tasks, like well twenty minutes or worse of time. And not good, but the game itself like a deck builder. Uh, looking pretty good and there's also this mythology like I say uh, some part of them uh, known to me uh, right it's an enchanting experience at least for me not not exactly Greek mythology <laughs> but nonetheless in these settings it's a pretty good game pretty good game and like I say I'm digging digging it in are gonna be continuing tomorrow. It's apparently a pretty long one and have a different endings. So we aim it for some evil ending because we already like started with uh, grabbing as many shorts, the devils as possible, and we are on a path of evil. I mean that that's a witch for you, which is supposed to be evil. Uh, so I, I I check it out on how long to beat site and it's uh, saying it's thirty hours. More or less on average, so we're gonna uh, have a couple of streams of it. It's a, a lot about optimizing those decks, so you saw how how hard it is. So hard difficulty, decently hard right now, but because like my my some ex my experience with playing those card games does prove to be useful. On another hand, uh, what was unexpected, we just learned, right? So maybe we, we, we missed like, some good good portion of experience, good artifacts as well. It, it was the thing is you can visit uh, the same location twice. So like there was a, there was a market and we needed a gold to buy and stuff, but we didn't have the gold. So, so maybe we can visit before. Couldn't. Look, after like I got an amount of gold, but I can visit the same location twice. So it's pretty bad. I need to count it on it. Basically, you like well, you easily need to reload like lo long time like before it's happened, before you visit the location or prepare to leave with consequences, which is we doing leaving with the consequences. Anyway, guys, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Whatever you didn't have fun with it. Uh, we finish with the Metro uh, 2033, we finish with uh, Yakuza, basically all back to back. Tomorrow we start in morning streams in this morning and evening.